Hey, man, let's go for a third round, man. Hey, end of the day, shout out to the LDBC, man. Shout out to my brothers Mario and Ticket. Shout out to all my other brothers. Y'all know I fuck with and support them on there and support that content. All the other content creators I fuck with, man. Salute to all of them. But, man, let's get to it, man. Milwaukee Bucks did have a good win yesterday against the Suns. Bobby Portis did an exceptional job in that first half. Dame Lillard sealed the deal. And against the Phoenix Suns team that we know and all alone, it's not a team that's going to compete for a title. Not a team that is just great defensively. We understand that. But, yes, because Kevin Durant formed this team, yes, she had to cook the Suns. And, yes, she got to hold Kevin Durant to the fire. Which we have, and this gonna be this gonna be the third try for KD. Three strikes, she out, nigga. And the day is look, looking like you can't win with that stale curve. But let's get to the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, the bright side, I'm gonna get to the positives. Um, Bobby Porter's been playing great. Um, you've been seeing him step up lately. That's that's good for the Milwaukee Bucks because they will need him to play at his top game. If they want to compete for a title and win. Dame Lillard's been up and down. He's shown spots, but he also shown the inability to deal with certain pressure from certain guards. Phoenix didn't take advantage of that yesterday. And shame on them. That's on them. But end of the day, yes, Tiki did make a bold claim about the Milwaukee Bucks winning it all. This is before the Doc River shit, all this. Because he got a love for Giannis, because he gave him utmost respect for not stacking the deck. But like I told you guys in the previous video, though, Giannis did take the LeBron James route in the sense that he traded away players that he probably should have kept. Drew Holiday, what he's doing for Boston right now. Grayson Allen leading the NBA three points, what he's doing for the Suns. You still could have had them with Charles Dame Lillard. But this is what Herm guarantees. Herm guarantees that the Milwaukee Bucks will not win the NBA title. And you guys, I'm not going to blame Doc Rivers. He came in the middle of the season with this. So Doc Rivers can't really implement anything. He can't focus and try to fix on issues because they don't have the personnel to fix their perimeter problems. So, Doc Rivers actually get us all from this year. But it's on two guys. Giannis had an infatuation for Dame Lillard for quite some time now. This is the star he always wanted to play with. This is the star that he basically handed over the keys to the franchise to. So, with Giannis, if this doesn't work out, y'all don't win this year. 75% of the blame goes on you. Dame Lillard, the other 25 goes to you. We understood what type of player you was for a long time. You give a lot of great highlights. You show moments that you do your damn time thing. But we also seen a lot of moments in your Portland career. You got swept in the conference finals with Steph Curry. And Steph Curry missed most of the series, and Kevin Durant missed the whole series. And the Warriors still beat you. By leg, Clay Thompson Warriors. Clay Thompson was the best player in that series. You blew four straight 20 point leads in that game, in that series. In the first half, you up by more than 20, didn't get it done. I don't believe in the Milwaukee Bucks. I think the ass is losing in the second round. And it all depends. They may play Miami Heat in the first round. And if they do, I got the Miami Heat in that series in six games. All reasons are going six because Miami, they will be the eighth seed again, and they probably go drop one or two games in the series. And Hitman, hey, end of the day, Hitman, we know the Bucks frauds. We know they're not built like that. But I'm actually being nice and not putting the blame on Dog Rivers. The whole, most of the blame is going to Giannis because he, he called out teammates in the offseason, he called out the front office. And he asked the front office to make a move. The front office gave him what he wanted, which was Dame Lillard. So those two got to get it done. Fuck the adjustments Doc Rivers made. Fuck, fuck what Doc Rivers do or don't do. This is not on Doc Rivers this season. Is it going to go on his coaching resume? Yes. But it's not his fault. 
Because last year we seen Bucks as the number one seed getting ass destroyed by the Miami Heat, the AFC Miami Heat that barely made the play in. Barely got through that. And they're going to have to most likely play the Miami Heat once again. In the Miami Heat end of the seventh seed. Man, look, the Bucks got the Bucks perimeter defense is horrific. Malik Bees, they dang little their liabilities. They don't have good wings. Their wings are not good enough to deal with the tough wings they will face. Bobby Porter's is actually a power forward that actually has to play the wing. So you gotta rely on Bobby Porter's a natural power forward to have to be a small forward to give the Bucks small forward production because Chris Middleton has to bend himself. And guess why? Dame Lillard is the reason you get an inconsistent Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton will never get into a flow due to Damian Lillard. So you're not going to get consistent great play for Chris Middleton. I think Chris Middleton is actually getting back to form. But Dame Lillard is in the way for Chris Middleton for showing us how good he can actually be. Dame Lillard's not going. Dame Lillard's not going to defer and, and and get his teammates involved. That's not him. And you can't put that on Giannis to do to do all the do to, to try to get everybody involved. And Lil Tay, yes, Chris Middleton was able to get shot attempts. You want to know why? Because Giannis wasn't playing. So Middleton was Middleton was able to get shot at him so that he haven't been able to get all season. That's the third option. Do you guys believe Chris Middleton would be in the rhythm? Do you guys believe Chris Middleton would get the amount of shot attempts that he got yesterday against the Suns? And by the way, the Suns do not play great perimeter defense either. They both got something to come, and that's why it was a 140-plus to 120-plus game. Neither one of those teams could stop anybody. So end of the day, you guys, how can I put my faith in the books? Knowing that the guy that can have shown you the ability to come through in crucial moments, shown you the ability to carry a team if need be. Chris Middleton would not get the amount of Shauna tips if Giannis and Dame Lillard is on the court. Chris Middleton, you won't even know Chris Middleton is on the court, you guys. I'm going to get to drop the link. I want to hear other people's perspective on the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, I think the Bucks will not win a title. Hell, for crying out loud, I guarantee the Bucks won't win a title. And Ticket TV, my brother from another, though, will owe me $1,000 when it's all said and done. So let me get Mario to drop the link. Mario, Yeah, my bad for that, y'all, for the noise. Cause that's a terrible ass noise. 
<laughs> I don't have a cricket phone. I'm actually I'm actually with AT and T, bro. And y'all, by the way, this link for the get drop for to drop this link, man. Hey, Dave O. I mean, that's the brother ticket, man. That's the brother ticket, man. I ain't delete them. I wish I, I wish I, wish they wasn't deleted, but they was deleted by the, by the brother ticket. Yeah, I probably would stop soon though, y'all, man. My bad for the noise and everything. I put y'all, I put y'all in that Mario just dropped the link soon. Y'all get backstage. Mario will let y'all in and we'll go for now. But it ain't no fucking way that the Milwaukee Bucks went in the title with all this fucked up ass shit they got going on with their roster. What's, yeah, what's happening, man? What up, her? Salute, salute, man. What's your thoughts, my brother, about this damn Milwaukee Bucks, man? Because I guarantee they not winning no damn title. I guarantee that shit. <clears throat> um, I agree. Um, they're too up and down. Um, you know, it's. I, I mean, I said it last stream. They just got their bucks kicked by 35 points by the Kings team, who plays no defense. Um, and they were healthy. Granted, Chris didn't play, but, you know, you still expect to make the game close or competitive if you got Dame and, and Giannis. But, um, nah. And the thing is this, bro. The Bucks can beat the Suns. They they can beat whoever they need to beat, right? The point is this. They got to get past Miami and Boston. Point, period, blank. I don't care what they do these next 10 games, bro. I can care less, right? The measuring stick for the Bucks is as followed Miami and the Boston Celtics period and they're not going to do that <laughs> it's 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 not going to happen if you think for one second that they got what it takes to beat the Boston Celtics in a seven game series okay cool put your money in your mouth there's like I did like Herm did and it's easy money bro I don't trust Giannis I don't trust Dame I don't trust Doc Rivers bro it's going to be easy work and it's going to be easy money point pair of blank they're too inconsistent. They're just too inconsistent. Now, I will say this, though. Um, it's good news. You know what I'm I was happy to see Chris Milton back because uh, they need that guy. He's a guy that can space you out. He he will create space, and the floor is going to be a little bit more spread open for Damian Giannis. So that's a good thing. So teams are going to have to account for that. But come on, man. Playoffs is about matchups, fourth quarter offense, for the quarter defense, and I don't trust them, bro. Because one thing we one thing we we do know is this, huh? When the um, when the tough gets going, and it's really time to bite down in the fourth quarter and get your shit off. Giannis ain't got no go-to move. He ain't got one. So yeah, they'll lose to Miami or 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 Boston. I ain't worried about it, man. I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna curse. Just have my bread, and it is what it is, man. I ain't worried about it, bro. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. Bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's had that what's bread ready, man. Ticket. What up, Atlanta? Man, what's your thoughts for landing on the Milwaukee Bucks, man? Man, them niggas ain't gonna do that, man. You already know uh, Miami got their number. Boston a better team. Giannis don't do nothing to dribble the air out the ball. That nigga dribble the ball more than any any player in the NBA. Just watch that nigga play, man. That shit's so boring to watch. Man, them niggas ain't winning no goddamn championship. And then that nigga ticket come on there this morning and and jump out and wake up and and, and delete our stream. Nigga, quit doing that whole ass shit, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. What you do that shit for? That shit ain't make no sense, man. Quit being like that. Nigga treat you like a whole ass nigga, her man. Quit letting that nigga treat you like that.
I, I don't. I don't be knowing until it happens. Get them. But see, I what what be know. going on? Jump over and cut the shit out, man. Because yeah, even we, 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 we just we just got to get on. We just got to get on the same page for us. Uh, for us understanding the scale when he drop a video and when I drop a video, we really just got to get on gotta, He ain't got to handle it. He ain't got to handle it like that. He could have popped on and told us, man, okay, y'all in y'all stream. I'm finna go live. He ain't got to do it like that. That's true. That's true, too, though. I, I do agree with that, too. Yeah. I most definitely agree with that as well. But but in, in, end of the day, man, he got his beliefs with the Milwaukee Bucks, man. You know, people go, people going to have the takes on the shit. But the bus got too many holes, Alani. I've been talking about the Clippers' weaknesses and all that. I think the Milwaukee Bucks is just as worse as the Clippers' weaknesses that I have pointed out. Uh, I, they don't have any type of perimeter players that could guard anybody, really. Your best player on the force perimeter-wise is Bobby Porter's defender. Um, if, if that's the case, you in bad shape. If Bobby Porter's a natural power forward is your best perimeter defender, you in fucking trouble. So I don't, I don't know why I don't know why he he picking them. Uh, I'm gonna drop the link for you, Polo. You a fan boy? That boy, he, he bet out his emotions, so he made a bad bet. So he got to come out that bread. Bottom line, facts, bro. Facts, man. I mean, listen, we can talk our shit, but when it comes to basketball and really breaking it down. He knows the Bucks ain't got no goddamn defense. He knows you can't trust no goddamn Doc Rivers. He knows Dame Lillard is a mismatch in the postseason, and teams are going to scheme for him and take advantage of that. Why would you put your money on the line that you work for to make that dumb bet? And like you said, Atlantian, it's based out of pure hate and emotions. You feel me? And you're going to pay for it in the end, bro. Have my money ready, man. And, and I'm and I'm gonna say this too. Uh, shout out to my brother Polo. Y'all subscribe to straight to the point sports and entertainment with Polo. But Polo capping ass gonna come in here and, and talk talk how good how he think the Bucks are good. You can't be good when you got a guy like Dan Little have Sean. See, and I talk about Paul George and I talk about Russ and I talk about Harden. Dame Lillard is worse, just as worse as them niggas in the playoffs. So how can I believe that Dan Little all of a sudden because he playing with Giannis? A guy in Giannis, he done gave the keys to the whole damn franchise to Dame Lillard that he's going to be the difference maker of why the Bucks advanced this year. And they got worse by getting Dame Lillard than keeping the same team they had last year. Man, look, man, these niggas are crazy. These niggas are delusional. And, and my brother Tiggy been cooking Dame Lillard all goddamn year long, but you still delusional enough to think that the goddamn Bucks going to overcome that? Liability, the guy that take the worst shots in the NBA, the guy that can't guard me, Mars, or Lanny. Man, y'all crazy as hell, man. Polo, you come in here and cap. You go get cooked. Just know that. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Atlantian. Atlantian. Atlantian, where you at, Atlantian? Hey, yeah. Atlantian, um, did you see a video when the Bucks lost by thirty five to the Kings? Like, like, did you see a live stream or did you see? A <laughs> like, I mean, am I missing something, bro? Uh, uh-uh. uh, nah, I ain't seen it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't either. You know what I'm saying, yeah, I didn't either. Okay, okay. I'm just asking questions. That's all. And Paulo, let me know when you backstage so I can let Mario know that you backstage, brother. So I can let you on there. Somebody do need to defend the Bucks. And I I'll let you have your opportunity to defend the Bucks. But the Bucks to me, shit water. They ain't, they ain't like that to me. That's to me though. Niggas gotta have their feelings and all this shit about it. But the Bucks ain't built like that. Oh, you backstage bit. Miles, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. I deal with delusional Clipper fans. Lanny, you well, ain't that bad. You ain't that bad as a Clipper fan, though. Well, the thing is tell this, though. You should tell the truth. Well, the thing is this, though, and Elenia knows this, bro. Like, I thought Ticket wants to smoke. So, you going to time me out? You going to block me? Do all this dumb shit? Like, you talk basketball, right, bro? Let's do it. Like, I want smoke. Let's do it. Like, don't block me or time me out. Like, I mean, if you talk the best hoop on YouTube, then let's do it. You want to know why I land in? Because he's easy work, bro. I cook him often, bro. You feel me? Those, <laughs> those, those elementary fucking talking points. Nah, that shit don't work on me, bro. You easy work.
Nigga say KD gonna get gonna request a trade next season. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I, I can I can I can see that happening though, but at the same time, if he doing that though, you know what I'm saying? End of the day, we gotta we basically gotta call out sixty five percent of the NBA. That's a lot of motherfuckers to call out. Cause LeBron, well, we gonna roll with that. He's going to the Knicks because the Lakers don't make the playoffs. That's what we gonna do, even though that's not likely to happen. But that's what we gonna try to throw out there. So I mean, yeah, let me test Mario again. So Paulo can come in here. I'm, I know he gonna defend the Bucks. I'm just interested to see how he gonna do it though. Yeah, man, we had some good ass streams today, man. We had Ant on this motherfucker crying and going crazy over Kawhi learning this shit all day and got those streams deleted, man. Whenever you got. And guess what? The Heat may beat the Bucks in the first round again. Then what y'all niggas going to say when Miami beat the Bucks in the first round again? How y'all going to defend Giannis on that? Yeah, and that's a bad matchup too. I mean, the, the, I mean, yeah, the Bucks didn't want to see the Heat um, or Boston. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, they better hope that. Shit, they don't want to see the Pacers either. Yeah. Yo, yo, huh? You can hear me, huh? Yeah, I can hear you, Aunt. Yeah, no. um, we said I got the um, uh, 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 video oh. deleted. Where Aunt go? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that was deleted, but go ahead, Polo, with your uh, cabin no. ass. I know you go defend him. You don't want to cap. Hey, hey, Ma. <laughs> hey, Ma. Hey, Ma. Hey, check this out, right? This is the, the, the same thing that got up on here and was talking about Golden State with a threat. And then what happened that very that, that next day? And that's one game. What are you talking about, man? Like, that's one game, bro. Like, I mean, yeah, stop that's it. one game. But I also, I, I also told y'all that what is so, the so biggest what, thing so that's going to prevent that them from winning? No, so what the hell that mean when the Kings Nobody has a Golden State Warriors winning a championship or, like, best in the league right now. Like, he thinks the Bucks are winning the chip, bro. Why are you, why are you bringing up the Golden State Warriors for it? Like, that's a bad argument. Well, and I, well, I, I, I never just, picked Golden State to win. What the hell is going on right now, man? Like, 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 the, the but delusion. I don't think the this is crazy. Are I don't think the Bucks. I don't. I don't think the Bucks are are going to win the championship. And let me tell you why. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, I don't think that they're going to win the championship. The one reason is is because although they have a one on one, it's a one on one uh, per possession. Uh, that they're holding teams to in terms of their defense since the all-star break, that's still not going to get it done because Moss brought up a good point about an inefficiency, and that's Dame. Dame is horrible on defense, okay? Oh, and my God. He is. He is horrible on defense, and he fails to show up in the playoffs. If we're going to talk about Harden, if we're going to talk about – Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know they, hold on, they tweet – and no, I just want to say one thing. That's it. No, I'm and, talk about that. no, and it's Polo just don't one be on thing. there all the time, man. All right, I just want to say one thing to Polo. And they drink, don't bro. guard. They don't guard the three point line, man. Like what the? Like, what that's the fuck? Man, listen, that's, that's if you I'm let Polo to. finish, he could get to that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If we're going to criticize all these other guys, we can't. Just, we got to hold Dame to the. Highest standard. Dane has not oh. absolutely. He has what it, what chip has he won? Has he been to the finals? Can he do anything without any help? No, he had Lamarcus Aldridge and he fucked that up. So I don't want to hear that goddamn shit, man. Y'all sitting up in here uh putting up Dame like he hired. And then y'all up in here talking about oh Giannis can't do this, Giannis can't do that. that nigga uh Herm camping about that shit about uh Giannis ain't no ain't got nothing in his bag. Oh, he sure got a championship, don't he? And he got two. Uh, I mean, Robert Ory got seven. What that mean? Well, Robert Ory got seven Robert rings. What Hoy, that mean? Robert Ory was a great role player. We talk about superstars. 
So, so where you went? All right, right Polo. Heard about somebody. This, 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 this time I'm gonna cook your shit ass. So, Polo, where you got Giannis ranked amongst all time a top five? Logic. You say Giannis ain't got nothing in his bag, and he's killing. He don't. He don't. He don't. Because he ain't got no shot. He don't. Polo. He ain't got no shot. He don't have a real post game. Okay, you know, he, he, he can't win the game strictly from a post. He can't dominate the game strictly from a block. About, he's working with Hakeem Olajuwon, and he's got footwork in the post. That's got <laughs> that nigga ain't got no goddamn footwork. <laughs> that nigga no, got better. What he the hell better. wrong with you, Polo? Nigga, what are you do, nigga? What the hell wrong with you with that old yellow bus logic you spitting, nigga? You don't nigga, think you spinning yellow bows? Nah, be telling us that Giannis got footwork. That bitch, that bitch is slew with it, and a motherfucker climbs his head. No, that nigga got that nigga two left feet. That nigga is Ooh, not climbing until he got footwork. Nigga, what the hell are you talking about, bro? What the Giannis hell are you talking better. about, nigga? Giannis is dominating pretty much everything. That's why he was in top three for MVP. Where is Dame at on that list? No way. <laughs> Then you talk about clumsy joke, is just clumsy, clumsy too, but he still gets it done. Man, clumsy got way, I mean, Jokic got way better footwork than Giannis. No, he doesn't. Man, yes, no, he, he doesn't. Does. Yes, man, he, does. he got the ugliest game, but he gets it done, and that's why nobody He just it. can't jump two feet off the ground, motherfucker. Yo, he got, yo, he got more to his do game than Giannis. Yo, 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 do you want man, press? Yo, stop yo, fucking yo, yelling, nigga. Take a shot, nigga. Talk dumb shit. Nigga, you get your ass up out of here, nigga. Who is your team? You couldn't even name the roster for the 94 Pacers, bitch. Yeah, we had Javano. You couldn't even name the roster for the 94 Pacers, bitch. Yeah, we had Javano. You couldn't even name the roster. Bro, they, uh, we had Jamar Tinsley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me name my brother. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about, man? I'm not a roster. Look at this. You're asking a roster. I didn't said it. You should know that yeah. shit off the top of your head. You asked to be. If I know basketball, bitch, you better come correct. Yeah, because you're talking crazy right now. You disrespect. 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 How many right, MVPs? Right, 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 hold on, I'm gonna let you talk. How many MVPs did Giannis have? Huh? How many MVPs does Giannis have? He got two. He got three of them. He got a Finals MVP too, as well. And yeah. the well, 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 no, he got three. He got two. In the regular season, man. Hey, Come hey, on, Mark, Mark, I'm done talking, man. Let's just go ahead. And, and, and so take it back on. Don't, don't block. So, 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 Herm don't have a team. He's just a, uh, Herm is a hater. Herm don't have a team. He a hater. That's what Herm is. He's he a hater. He right just want to hate on everybody. But the biggest threat, to, the biggest threat, I think, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bob said, mentioned this. The biggest threat in the East right now to either the Bucks or Boston, Paul Pierce said it, is the Heat. Yeah, the heat. Yeah, yeah, the heat. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, Boston would beat them too because they got the last. Man, Boston ain't beat nobody. They got dumb, dumb. Man, get the fuck out of here. Boston. I don't even like Boston. I don't even like Boston. But Boston, Boston niggas are straight clowns. Man, get out of here with Boston. Shut the hell up, man. God damn. You couldn't even yeah, name the 2004 out, roster man. either. Man, you don't nobody talk 94, about that. You couldn't even name the 04 roster. No, yo, uh, uh, yo, um, I can make any pace of roster. Hey, nigga. Man, you what the Google fuck you shit. talking about, man? You gotta Google that shit. Stop it, man. I ain't got Google nothing. What are you man. talking about, um, Polo? I ain't got Google nothing, nigga. Hey, fuck out of here. They know I forgot about the two guard. Hold on, hold on. I forgot who our two guard. Hey, Rebrand, yeah. Rebrand, what's your thoughts about the Milwaukee Bucks? Oh, this three nigga. No. Oh, <laughs>
Hey, oh, no, oh. Swiss, Swiss said, this nigga's an asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> Her Swiss said, her, you know, goddamn well, Giannis is over Barkley. Barkley teamed up with the team that beat him 3 1. Yo, 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 Brandon, Brandon, I'm glad you said that. Yo, yo, Brandon, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Yo, yo, Brandon, Brandon, I went on C Fight Show. Yo, yo, Brandon, I went on C Fight Show. I said, Rockley lost to the um, he lost, he lost to the he, who's in Rockley? Who, yo, yo, he, he lost to them. Can you shut the fuck up? No, no, I'm glad he said that. No, nah, shut the fuck up. He put a 41 lead. He put a 41 lead. No, what are you doing, bro? All right, they all right, my boy. They ask me a damn question, and your punk ass in the road. Shut the fuck right, up. All right, my All right, let me fall back. No, let me fall back. Shut up, man. Yeah, I'm fooling back, bro. But it was fun. Shout out to Swoosh, by the way, because he honestly do know ball. But I'm going to say this, though, Swish. If you remember the history correctly. That nigga Hearn went out? No, I, I'm not saying nothing. I'm going to keep quiet. Yeah, shut your ass up real quick, yo. Yo, yo, fuck you. All right, <laughs> all right I'm going to keep quiet. Hey, yo, Brandon. No, nah, no, nah, you want to kick some yeah. one with Hold on, and I got, I got, I got to respond. I got to respond now because hell, I just that phone call interfered. But the switch. Don't sound like you in the hallway. Shut up! It sound like you in the hallway. Shut up! I'm in my you. house. You need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, I ain't gotta say nothing. Yeah, but but yeah, but the response was switched. If you remember the history, he did that shit later in his career. A last one was the same because it body broke down. Oh, you lame motherfucker! Shut the fuck up, you weak son of a bitch! Shut the fuck up, you weak son of a bitch! Can we all get? You gotta hear some talk. You can't come out here lying, huh? You can't come on here lying. You can't come on here lying. How the fuck I'm lying, you bitch, nigga? Oh, so Barkley was in his career when he lost oh, hey, lost hey, to the Houston Rockets hey, in 94, hey, 94, hey, 94, hey, 94. Hey, shut up! Wait, what the fuck we doing? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> hey, All right, anyway. You heard? Huh? Who is that yelling? I don't know. Your punk ass for to be backstage, man, because you don't know how to shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, I'm not saying nothing. Man, man, can you shut the fuck up and let him respond to a swish? I'm trying All right, to swish. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Respond to somebody, but you, you always in a rut. End of the day, swish, do you remember? You remember Barton and them came together when they, were, when they was late. They was older in their career that both all their bodies were breaking. And no excuse, by the way, though, because they did lose to the conference finals. To the Utah Jazz in '97, when Utah, uh, when John Stockton averaged over 20 points in that series, that dominated the, the, the super team Houston Rockets with mm -hmm. Clyde, Elijah, Juan, and Barkley, mm -hmm. and, and Houston was the favorites. But That's you could tell Elijah Juan wasn't moving the same anymore. His body was breaking down. Charles Barkley was fat as hell. Was the round ball. He was looking like butter, butter bean. And Clyde Drexler was nowhere, was nowhere near himself. Hey, Paulo, that yeah. mic sound far away, bro. He still averaged a double double, huh? Yeah, but he he wasn't him though. He wasn't him. Sometimes his natural off. ability yeah. would get you by, but he wasn't him. He wasn't able to deal with no damn Carl Malone. Him or Elijah Wong couldn't deal with Carl Malone. But John Stockton was the best player in that whole series. But 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 besides but besides that though, they wasn't the prime. They was in their prime, like way. Boston, um, LeBron was that's different, but they wasn't in their prime, they wasn't playing at their best, so I can't put that on Barkley. But it still count, it's still a fair super team. But I can't put the type of significance that you try to put on it. And yes, I was being disingenuous because I was being an asshole towards Polo, and that's all it is, too. But Giannis, I do not think he's special, I think he's straight up or down, no special effects. 
The NBA rules benefit Young to a certain degree. <laughs> if it wasn't for the rules how it is now, and his punk ass had to get on the block like the other big man back in the day, his bitch ass would get destroyed. That, he can't fuck with a prime. That's, that's cap. Uh, he can't uh, that's, fuck that's with a prime. That's cap. That's cap. Okay. He can't hold fuck on. With a hold on. Dunk. He can't fuck hold with Rasheed Wallace. Nah. I'm hold still on. Going. First, I'm first still off, going. what is Rasheed? What is Rasheed done individually? I'm still going. What did he do? I'm still going. What did he do at Vigil I'm still going. Fuck. He couldn't fuck, no could fuck with no Kevin McHale. He couldn't fuck with no Kevin McHale. We're not I saying that. Going, but your punk ass is going to keep interrupting because you want to ride. Well, like you were doing? If you hey, you want to bet some money, too, I take your money, too, Polo. No I problem. Uh, no problem, man. We do it different than I Memphis. Take your money too, yeah, we, I, I take y'all come down here and gamble. I take but you in, First off, you put Rasheed uh, Wallace on you put Rasheed Wallace on Giannis yeah, level when Rasheed yeah, Wallace has no it. accolades to uh, speak for in terms of uh in comparison oh, so, to Giannis. So, so you so you pull so you pull another LeBron James fanboys card. Nah, not at all. Nah, yes, not at know. all. Nobody brought up LeBron, man. I don't even want to talk about that shit, man. You know, you already know you come to my channel. That's not I don't talk about that shit. Come on, have a more diversified talk with basketball other than LeBron. Now, first and, conversation. first and foremost, you brought up Kevin McHale, which he is a Hall of Fame. I'm not going to lie. He, he, he can't fuck with Kevin Garnett. And, uh, Kevin Garnett Kevin and Duncan. everything. A prime but what Chris I'm telling Rubber, you, a prime Chris Webber with Kevin you're moving the goalposts. I'm nah, not, he better I'm, you're, you're, moving, you're moving the goalposts. Goal you're moving the goalposts because you're sitting, I'm talking about moves. In the post, he don't have specifically. Him. Okay, listen, I'm not saying he's like Kevin McHale, no up and under, and none of that other stuff. But he Donald. has he has Tim an array Donald of moves. You, you just, Rubber, go back and go look look at the film. You only looking at Giannis like when he first came into the league and stuff. Uh, has I'll he has he improved I'll his shot? Him. Has he improved his shot? Not dramatically, not at all. But and he's still horrible at free throws. But it still not has not stopped his impact on the game. It has not stopped his impact, both defensively and everything. And for you to sit up here and say that he don't have nothing in his bag, how do you think this motherfucker's scoring? He ain't just running over people. He can euro. He can spin. He that can you, uh, use. Uh, he is running over people. Either he goes no, he's not. Up. He, he avoids he not all the time. Left and going Running right. over people is like when, what Shaq when, was when, doing. When he, go, when he go strong left polo, all he do is spin back to the right. That's all he do. He don't Nigga, do he's using the rim as a shield. Like he uses the rim as a shield. Go back and go look at the film. On, and then he, he and, and, and what's what, what is also special yeah. about him is that he can also use his left oh, hand, which y'all everybody talks about. Oh, Jordan Kemp uh, stuff. Use his left hand and all this other dumb shit. We. We done with the 90s bullshit. Man, Giannis can use either hand. Go look at it. The nigga hey. kid, it got special moves around the cup. Hey, Herm, you got niggas in the backstage. Let Mario know. The niggas back there. That nigga, the Swiss said, yeah, Chris Webber, so top this is one of them Giannis King shit streams again, huh? But the Bucks, I don't, I don't see the Bucks winning the championship. Just because you don't see it, don't mean it won't happen. They might, right? Be. right. You're right. You're right about that. But uh, I, maybe I don't your see punk it happening. Ass wanna bet your money too? Hey, Polo. Hey, Polo. <laughs> yeah. your ass down with all that. Hey, Polo. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Do you want to bet your money? You believe in y'all? Really bet your money. Let me ask Polo a question real quick. Go ahead. Um, when Boston and Miami takes away Giannis's plan A, which is playing downhill, you know, playing aggressive, somewhat playmaking, when they cut that water hose off, right? And this is a basic question, bro. Like, what's his next go-to move? And the listen, so Polo, in the fourth quarter, in winning time, when it's time to really get it, okay? If Boston or Miami takes away the driving lanes and forces Giannis to like go into his toolbox, I'm asking you a question, bro. What's his go-to? Yeah, I know, man. He sound like a chess game. I'm just saying, bro. I mean, what's his go-to? I'm listening to you, bro. No, no. I'm done. It's going to be tricky, man, because he has... Okay, Maj, you pay attention to the game. Yeah. If they take away... If you got a guy in uh, Drew Holiday, he's going to make it very tough for him if he's guarding a guy like Giannis, okay? And then if you got... Uh, who's another uh, defender? 
that's on our roster right now that's uh, kind of elite. We'll just right. say Drew Holiday. Darren White. Darren White. Darren White. Yeah, Darren, Darren White. If you got those two guys out there on the perimeter and they build up, you know, this little wall that doesn't work for Giannis anymore, it'll make it tough because I think his go-to move would probably be that stop and pop in the middle. If he if if he's going to force him a, a certain way, uh-huh. And Giannis, you know how Giannis can get to that that little spot right there in the middle, like not quite yeah, fifteen foot. Yeah, yeah. He could he could do it that little uh, stop and pop in the middle. Yeah, or and uh, another thing that slept yeah, another thing that slept on two months. We got to remember that Giannis is very good uh, good at drawing fouls, but there goes another inefficiency. That's his free throw shooter. So okay, hold on, Polo, Polo, Polo. So when he stops in the mid range and shoots that broke jumper. Like, usually, if I ask a person, like, for example, if I ask Reed Brand about a player's go-to move, he can just give it to me, bro. Like, there's not all these um, excuses and this happens. Like, people just have go-to moves. Man, you, you sound so retarded every time. And you act like Giannis so has, like, a mid-range jump shot, bro. Polo? No, 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 But he's gotten a nah, lot he better. He's no, gotten no, a he lot no better lot with that stop and pop. Giannis ha- Giannis has- he ain't gotten a lot better, man. He has. He's gotten a lot better in the stop and pop. But y'all looking at three-point and 15 no, and beyond. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at mid-range jump shots. It's broke. <laughs> it's not, that's not a go-to move, nigga. What are you talking about? Yeah, that out broke. It's not a go-to move. That's not really, yeah. That's not that's not a go to move. But the this thing about it is, that he can still game. get there though. Talking Polo, Polo. Giannis has multiple go to moves. Polo, Polo. I ask, okay, okay, Polo. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Has, so Polo, if that's not his go to move, then why did you mention it in the fourth quarter? Because I said, "quote," I I was very I was very particular about about what I asked you. I said in the fourth quarter in winning time, when it's time for him to be Giannis and just do what he do best, right? If you take away the driving lanes, I asked you. What's his go-to move? What is he going to? What move is he going to? And you said the little mid-range jump shot. No, no, no. I, I said no. Move. Hold on. Hold That's on. Not a go-to move. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I said first off. First off, let's just let's start back to what you initially said. Yeah. I said it depends on who is guarding him. The strongest defenders we know are uh, Drew Holiday. Uh-huh. Uh, Jalen Brown is a, uh, a, is an elite defender and and White. If you have those guys on there and they're forcing him, they're forcing him not to get to that, you know, because if he goes to the baseline and he first step you, it's over with. He's long enough to dunk on your ass. Okay, but then you got to think about poor genius that's going to come with health defense or another big. I'm looking at it from a standpoint of them forcing him to a weak spot where they don't think he can necessarily go in that middle right there to, to to do that uh, stop and pop that he's usually doing, and he's gotten better at that. It, I mean, go look at the film, huh? Uh-oh. That's gonna okay. be the problem. That's gonna be the problem. Hey, but he don't. He don't have. He don't have a, hey, a go to hey, move. My hey, mom was right there What's on that? the floor watching. Hey, Polo, shit. I'll just say this, bro. I'll just say, okay, we'll see. But hey, I, it, hey, I will say this: they're not gonna. In my opinion, the Bucks aren't gonna win the championship. Because Doc already said that they struggle with with fast paced teams and uh, spacing teams, i.e., Mons, Indiana. Indiana's a thing. Indiana, five games. So, 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 Polo, so, so, Polo, so, so, Polo. This is coming out of Doc Rivers' mouth, y'all. Yeah, so, 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 Polo. It's coming out of Doc Rivers' mouth. Now, so, Polo. So, so, Polo, why you all with me then? Because that was my whole premise. The perimeter defense is terrible. And when your best wing defender is a natural power forward, okay, because, okay, let me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why, Herm. Because since the all star break, these guys are holding teams to only 101 uh, points. Guess what Dallas is uh, holding their teams to? Everybody's cheering about this old Kyrie left-hand shot. They're allowing 124 points. That's a fact. Do the math. That's why I said that they, they can hold, they can they can defend teams. They, they, Bobby Porter's has been a uh, uh, man, I don't know, I think it's Pat okay. Bev bringing oh, the dog oh, out of him. Okay, oh, okay, um, Polo. Read off all them wins since the All-Star break against the teams that they beat since the All-Star break. Because I'm getting to a point. That's why I want you to – who all they beat since the All-Star break? I know. I just want you to tell. Right off the top of my head. Uh, 
Because their first two games was against the Hornets. Because they were eight. I think they were what, eight and one. They were like eight and two or something. Like, I just remember the record. I don't know. No, they're nine and three. They yeah, beat, yeah, like nine and they, three. They, they were like eight the, at nine and two, Suns. nine and three or something like that. They beat the Suns, the Timberwolves, and he also beat. I'm forgetting mm. something. Uh, Suns, Timberwolves, and they beat the Clippers twice. Man, look, it, 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 it ended the day. <laughs> End of the day with the uh, Milwaukee yeah. Bucks, bro. Dame Lillard, Dame Lillard. Even though Chris Middleton had a good game, which is a good sign, because I like that. I think Chris Middleton is actually Give me just back. a second. I think Chris Middleton is actually back, y'all. But Dame Lillard is going to be the reason why Chris Middleton's inconsistent. Because it, because when Giannis and Dame plays, that's a shot attempts right there. Chris Middleton probably shoot eight or nine shots a game with those two on the court at the same time. So he's not going to be relied upon a lot because he's not going to even get the oh, shot attempt. They're going to so, stagger minutes with Dame, Giannis, and Chris. They're going to be that, time. But that's kind of, uh-huh. they're kind of hard because you really not – the Bucks are not, not as deep. So it's kind of hard. It, that's the challenge that Doc Rivers had because he really don't have the depth. When your best wing defender is your power forward, that is alarming and that is that is fucked up. I mean, Bobby Porter is your best perimeter defender. Their bench is fine. No, they have, no, a, they, have, they have a better bench than Boston. Yeah, I like. It. I like it they got Bobby. Yeah, they Porter's beat. Off, they got Bobby Porter's Pat Bev. They Matt beat Collins the Timberwolves. Team. They beat. They beat us. They beat the Hornets. They beat the Hornets. Like he said twice. Hold, they beat hold, hold the Bulls. Hold on, hold on. They hold beat on, the Clippers on. and they beat the they blew, they uh, <laughs> lost to the Warriors and they lost to the Lakers and they beat the Clippers. They lost to the Kings. Uh huh. And yeah, they beat yeah, us. Yeah. I was at and the they beat game, the, uh, and they just and they blew the breaks off the Suns. Yeah. Blew the breaks at the Suns. Yeah. Hey Polo, they just hey, blew Polo. the Suns. That Kings game, man. They lost by their, they lost by thirty five points. But Nahari, you just said that the Bucks have a better bench than the Celtics. Name their bench. Bobby Portis, Pat Connaughton. Okay. Who else? Bobby Portis is one of the best bench players. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Hold cool. on, nigga. Let me Who finish, else, bro. man? That's one guy. Nigga, let me finish. Don, this nigga so stupid. All right. Pat Batbev, Pat Commenton, Bobby Portis, those are three guys, and Jay Crowder. Okay. Can you name Boston's bench? Sam Hauser, Luke Cornett, and Peyton Pritchard is the three guys getting rotation minutes. Al Horford would get minutes. That's all they play? Al, Al Horford, Al Horford as well. Al Horford as well. Al Horford. And, and, that, and, that, and that tall black dude be getting minutes. Oh, <laughs> Lord, man. Xavier Tillman, he gets some minutes. No, gets no not Xavier Tillman. Other dude, uh, Campo or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Paul Glass is deeper than what they saw. But you. Yeah. So, so, hold on. Hey, huh? So, the Bucks could have a better bench, though. Like, we all know Boston's weakness is their death, bro. Like, but, but listen to know. this, fellas. Another thing that we're not looking at too that nobody's really pointing out. Who's been hurt a lot too? It's been Middleton, and Middleton is a solid defender, man. Nah, not no. He's been man. hurt no, like no, 11, no, 12 no, times. No, 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 no. He's like he's like average now. He'll never be that again. But this what this what I'm gonna tell you though, um, Polo. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with that. Though. Uh, here's the thing with that. Dame Lillard takes away. Takes away from what uh, Chris Middleton does very, very well for scoring the ball because he's not going to get a lot of shot attempts. So you're going to get an up and down Chris Middleton. That's the problem that the Bucks been having all year. You can't change how damn little plays. He's going to take terrible shots. He's going to chuck up a lot of shots. And Giannis wants his shots up too. He's going to get a lot of shot attempts up as well. So how Chris Middleton going to be able to get his 15 to 18 shot attempts a game? I don't see that happening for Chris Middleton. Man, they are in trouble, y'all. And when Bobby Porter's is your best perimeter defender, I don't see how you guys ignore this shit and act like that's not a big deal. I don't like Malik. <laughs> well, not, you not, know, Bobby he's not, Porter. He's not, their best, he's not their best perimeter defender. Who, who's the best perimeter defender this season? Um, no. This season's probably been Pat Bev. Pat like Bev's not gonna play a lot of I, minutes. I, I don't, I don't, Pat, Pat Bev in the playoffs is difficult to get. How many minutes, minutes he gonna play a game? No, On, right. Honestly, I, honestly, I think they're gonna bench Malik Beasley in the playoffs to start Pat Bev. That's just me. That's just yeah, me. I forgot yeah, about Beasley. Like, guess, what, guess what? The defense can collapse on oh, Giannis. Yeah, no, we saw, we saw Pat Bev mm-hmm. throwing floaters yesterday. Yeah, baby, he was hitting threes though. Oh, hey, he was hitting. Th- he was hitting threes though. Mm-hmm. He was. 
If y'all been watching Patrick Beverly this whole season, he's actually been a really good corner three point shooter all year. I see. What if they weren't running to a young team like Orlando? You see, that's, Orlando 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 Orlando. That's, that, that's what nobody's uh, even talking about Orlando, Indiana, none of these other teams. I mean, everybody talking about I the mean, Bucks and, and the Celtics. Giannis giving Indiana thirty seven. No, 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 but Polo, but Polo, I said that's who Boston need to stay away from. They better hope the Magic, not the AC. I say more than he, but I, nah, I can agree with you. Magic like, Magic like top five. They top five right now. I think they like five seed. Right now, the Celtics matching up with the Heat. Heat, I think. I want the I want the Magic to be the seven seed so they can play Milwaukee first round, man. So they can get smoked in five they games. Won't get, they won't get smoked. Now, I really want Indiana to play, y'all, to be honest. And if Indiana play the Bucks, it, four or five games again. I don't, I don't see what y'all see in Indiana. Because 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 Indiana high power, high power, high, super high power offense, garbage defense. Okay, but y'all defense is not good either. It's average. The defense is average. No, it's not. Why is it not average? I think it's, it's like below 15th. average. It's below what is average. It? What is it? Sixteenth in the league. Fifteenth. That's somewhere. that's below average. That's average. That's below average. Being 15th in the league. You said that's, that's, that's average, man. Man, they're not an average defense. Man, it's 30 something teams in the league, huh? That's average. 15 is average. That's like middle of the pack. That's average. Well, y'all, y'all can have this false fantasy about the books. Nahar, I politely take your money. Ming Adjuster, I politely take your money. Polo. I politely take yours. We're false man. I, 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 uh, you, I, 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 I want to say something. So this, this you've been oh, you've been oh and three, niggas. <laughs> this, this doesn't affect Giannis greatness at all. Now, nah, hey, Polo, I don't what? lose bets. Better ask the elder and ticket captain ass. Better ask no. How much money you don't want, man? <laughs> Uh, I'll for, I'll don't don't, don't say no $50. That ain't no money. Man. No, y'all, y'all, keep, y'all keep tripping, man. No, I'll for L-Den ticket 500 apiece. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, well, you bet with them shit, yeah. I'm going right well, yeah, well, right well, right yeah. to tell you something right now. Denver ain't worried about Boston if they beat up in the finals. I'm going to be honest with y'all. They ain't worried about Boston. The team that they're going to be most worried about if they match up in the finals would be the 76ers or the Milwaukee Bucks. They ain't worried about no, Boston. No, they, they we have the Nah, yeah, we have, ain't. Man, have, I, I, I'm sorry, I have, man. I have, Even though Joel's coming back, man, we definitely ain't getting. We not doing nah, no yo, work. Joel and was Joel and was doing before, no before the injury, man. Right? Nah, nah. What Joel and B was doing before that injury, man. He was arguably the best player on the planet, bro. Listen, man. Listen, ain't nobody worrying about no seven to six. I don't know why you named him because first y'all go, gonna, gonna see. Because see first of all, ain't no way. Ain't no way Joel Joel and B can miss all these games and just get to the playoff and automatically turn it on. It doesn't work that way. That's what I'm saying. I said if healthy. I said if healthy. I don't give a damn if he is healthy. <laughs> who's healthy? No, no, no. no, uh, like uh, no, no if who's no. healthy? Because he's it's still got to get in playing shape. That's what I'm saying. He's not gonna just come to the playoffs and then <laughs> just automatically turn it on. Man, like, <laughs> That nigga is hurt every single season, every single postseason, that's yet alone. Said, that's why I said if healthy. That's why I said if healthy. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm saying if they if the 76ers win, ain't nobody worried about no because when you look at that 76ers team, it's fully built off your one of the beats back, right? Man, the, the whole, off, the the offense, the whole offense and defense anchor through him. That's why they're the so bad with him. Ain't even getting out the plane. Come on, man. Come on, come on, Migo. With a healthy and beat, they don't get off the plane. Come on, man. They're not getting that. I don't even think they make it out the plane. Who matter of fact, who in the plane in the East? Who in the plane in the East? Miami and uh, who is it? Miami will beat them. Miami, Miami will beat them. Yes. Miami will beat them in the plane. Yes, they will. Miami will take them out. Mm-hmm. That will. That could happen. Definitely. Play off Jimmy, man. Mm-hmm. That's who you gotta worry about. Mm-hmm. And then Bam, everybody talks about all these, uh, you know, Wimbyama and uh, Gobert. Bam is number three on that list as far as DPOY. So, and that's why he he's gonna uh, put a stop to what Porzingis possibly could do. Mm. Oh damn, they got the Bulls in the play in the net. Oh yeah, they 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 will get out there if they want no team. <laughs> I ain't know the Bulls that was in that Atlanta Hawks. Oh shit! Never mind. Never mind.
anything. Yeah, I was gonna correct you on that, man. My 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 terrible ass bulls in this shit, man. <laughs> man, man yeah, I, just went looked, I just went and looked at it. Yeah, the bulls in the hall. Hey, my bull, hey, my my, my bulls, my bulls. Listen, man, my bulls. We gonna be back next year, man. Once we get Lonzo back, bro, and we trade this bum nigga Levine, bro, we're back, man. Man, we're back. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. Like gonna be back, yeah. back, we, man. back in the playoffs, nigga. Sure? We will, yeah. though. We trade Levine, though. Mm-hmm. We gotta trade Zach Levine for sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. We yeah, we gotta trade that nigga. Man. All right. Oh. Now Wait, so how many games before nine. he get hurt? So I, so I got a question for Nahari and Ern. How many questions Zach Levine gonna play? Not Zach Levine. How many uh games Alonzo Alonzo Ball gonna play before he get hurt again? Like five, ten. I think 15, I think he'll play the whole season. I don't, I don't know, but he, 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 he gonna he play more than five do. games. Like come on, we in hey, this definitely do. Hey, nah, Mingo. Cause, cause, cause Mingo, he, 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 he could he could play right now, man. He could play. Right miss whole season. Man, hey, Mingo. I don't care if Lonzo Ball <laughs> plays every game, bro. He's not. He's a fucking non-factor, bro. I mean, why is Lonzo <laughs> Ball? Just, 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 this nigga sound dumb. He's a non-factor, man. Lonzo Ball is a non-factor. Lonzo Ball. What the fuck is wrong with the hard game? I just do not watch basketball. No fucking Lonzo games. sucking ball. Nigga, we had Lonzo the number one seed. Man, man scrub, bro. Hey, 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 one, hey Migo. Hey, Migo. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. Why would the Bulls? We're not, we're not why would the Bulls play, play Lonzo this, Ball this. starting starting him when they got Kobe White balling right now, bro? They're gonna have him and Kobe White. They're gonna have them both starting. Kobe White right now is better than Lonzo Ball. We know this. We know this, bro. Nobody's saying Lonzo Ball's a star. He's a very impactful. What are you talking about, bro? He's one of the best defensive guys. You're lying, bro. And he just. Not lying. They're not playing. They're not playing Lonzo Ball and, and fucking Kobe White. At, at, why wouldn't the they play Lonzo Ball? They're Kobe not White. doing that. They're why not doing they, that. Why wouldn't they? They have do a two it? guard. They have a two guard. Lonzo will be the point. Bum. Oh god. Yeah. The, why, yeah why, Kobe why, White why? is a point guard. Not no fucking Lonzo Ball. Kobe White can play. Yeah, Kobe, White can play Kobe White can play. This. He's been playing the shoot guard multiple years in his career. He can man, play why would they guard. play Kobe White at the fucking two guard and he's fucking manager? Like, like nigga, make it make sense, man. Make it make what sense. Make it make sense, nigga. Kobe White. Make it make sense, man. He's a school first guard. Kobe White ain't no playmaker. Hey, Mingo. Hey, Mingo. He's if a good pass. Lonzo He's Ball a is a playmaker. factor, bro, in the NBA, then you got weird delusional <laughs> issues, man. Lonzo Ball is a Nigga, non-factor. you're delusional. Bro. You just Sorry. He's a non-factor. He's, He's injury prone. No He's not saying it. He's now injury he's prone. He's a non-factor. Ball, okay, now he's not. Okay, injury prone, fine, but don't say that he sucks. Mingo? Nigga sound uh, Lonzo Ball play pretty good defense. I give him that. He got, he got, he got, he got no, he does not. No, he does not. Very, Who what? Told you that, bro? What? What games have you been watching, man? Lonzo Ball don't play good defense. Hey, Lonzo Ball got good pretty good defense. Now anything I got Lonzo 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 Ball for the best defensive guards in the entire league. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yes, he is. He's one of the best defensive guards in the league. No, he doesn't, Migos. He's also a great thing. He's Oh, he's a really good three-point shooter too. Really good catch shoot three-point shooter. Good playmaker. Good pass and transition. Uh, I don't know about these catch shoot three-point shooter now. Uh, uh, nah, yeah. nah, how are you going? Y'all not watch? Did y'all not watch that good? I'm not. How, how many Bulls games did y'all watch before we got injured? Bro, did you just say catch and shoot three-point shooter? What the hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he said, Mingo. Yeah, cook his ass. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he's a good mm-hmm. catching shooter. He's a liar. He is a good catching shooter. Come on, shooter, nigga. This what nigga's known about? for lying, nigo. Come on, man. That's not lying. He's actually no, no. Man, man, he's actually called to watch the basketball. You're lying, bro. You're lying. You're lying. Like, that's catching shoot, dude. Now how are you catching shoot? No, but Mister Mister Miles, you haven't watched Lonzo Ball. You're lying, since, bro. Lakers, but bro, like you, 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 you as a that player. kind of lying. Man. Lonzo yeah, Ball man. is not no catch and shoot three point shooter. What are you talking about, man? I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. It's hard talking to niggas. What he just said? I know it is, nigga. You can't do lies. Lonzo no, it's not lies. It's just, you just hold, on, Miles, Miles, that's Miles, right, hold on, hold on, Miles. Lonzo would give us per- perimeter defense, something we don't have this year. That's you got Al Caruso. I mean, but Caruso really we ain't using the right way. And when you got the rolls in and out, Kobe White, those guys can't stop a soul. Shit, Caruso, only one damn man. 
So Russo it ended is fucking up, way better than Lonzo Ball on defense. Uh, her. yeah, but but Lonzo is a good defender as well. No, so he's we'll not, bro. Since when? One guy that can play defense. Since he was hurt. The Since when? He was good before he got hurt. Mr. He Ron. was good before he got hurt. He was, he was great a good before defender he got, before he, he got hurt. He was, he was a good defender before he got hurt. Nahari just wow. said, "quote He was great before he got hurt on defense." Well, I, I, I yes. had to do tell Nahari to pull up the great on defense. Nahari was cooking as I tell him to pull up the numbers, mom. What'd you say? But Lonzo Ball was shooting 38% from three. What'd you say? Five attempts. I say if Nahari pulled up the numbers defensively, it would show how Lonzo was. We had Lonzo. So now we're using defensive ratings. We had Lonzo. Now we're using defensive ratings. No, no, no. When we had Lonzo, we don't have to just use them. We were the top 10 defense in the entire league when we had them both on the court at the same time. The level of delusion, bro. This is crazy, huh? Like, <laughs> y'all kept pushing. And, 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 and also, 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 and Hold on, hold on. Who Mass, considered like, great right now on defense? On, Mass, or Mass, Mass. I mean, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. This nigga no, said no, Lonzo no, wasn't a good catch on, shoot, point shooter. Hey, Herman, bro. Who was considered nigga. right now great on defense? McDaniels from Minnesota, right? Guys like that? He's I'm elite. Sure. Yeah, he's the lead. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Who's great, though? Like Derek White, Drew Holiday? Yeah. Maybe Jason elite. Maybe, maybe I'm elite. Maybe. Who, who else? Who else? Who else? You're naming a bunch of elite defenders, Herb top Jones. 20 defenders. Herb Zones. No, no, no. I just named great. No, no. I, the word great. Herb no, Jones, elite. McDaniels. I mean, who else? Yeah, it ain't that many, nigga. You got like it's a lot. No, you guys put Lonzo Ball on, on that level? Those are I'd some of the best defenders. Yeah, yo, yo, you're being disgusting. Those are some I of the best he was defenders a good in the defender, Mark. Herm, those you are, put those Lonzo Ball on that level, Herm? Those defenders? are some of the best defenders. No, in the league, no, nigga. he's not on that level. Okay, all right. So hold on, I need gotta be. I need gotta be. Hey, 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 but I'm, 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 hey, my, my, my. This how so far, this how far I'm gonna go with it though. Lonzo on, Ball, man. better. He's a better defender than Terrence Man. He's a better defender than him. Yeah, Terrence Man is good on on defense though. Uh, I would just make sure. I said that was really no revelation. Like, yeah, I, mean, I don't think man. Terrence Mann is all that on defense, huh? So I, yeah, I, mean, I don't really know. There no revelation. Right. I mean, what are you saying? Lonzo Ball was shooting I mean, like 30. Lonzo hey, Ball was shooting hey, 30% Migo, from hey, Migo, three. Hey, Migo. Hey, Lonzo Ball couldn't walk in there half the fucking year. He going to come back and be a savior? I mean, yeah. He's a great player. player. What are we talking and about? I agree with that point. That's a good point right now, I, that, that's a, and that's the same thing I was saying about Joe L B. He is not just going to come back and just be this right. all world player like the thing. Right. He got to get back in shape. He got that, bro. It, it takes time for that. It ain't going to be like a snap of a uh, finger. It doesn't work that way. Nobody's saying. Wow. That. But through through the whole season, I guarantee we'll be at least a top seven seed with Lonzo, at least. With Lonzo, Demar, we trade oh, Zach no. Levine oh, for no, some. No, we trade, no, we no. trade Zach Levine to support hey, some more wings. Hey, and Lamont, and Lamont, and Lamont. If Lonzo had a good stretch of catch and shoot, whoop, do you fucking do? You want a cookie? Lonzo Ball is not no good catch and shoot three point shooter. Man. Why? Why, why is he? Why is no, 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 Max. Why? 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 And read them to the chat real quick. Yeah, let's do what that. numbers, nigga. Let's do that. Put pull up his numbers from last. Put up let's his do that. Numbers with Chicago. No, pull up I'm his numbers with Chicago. Career numbers, motherfucker. His, his career, career numbers. His career, his career. numbers. Nigga, not no can, fucking one his, year. His, his not, whole jump shot. Not no changed. fucking one year. Small nigga. sample size. His whole jump shot changed, bro. Not no one year. Small up, sample size. I want to pull up his career when this nigga literally I'm not changed gonna, his whole entire jump shot form. I'm not that pulling up no fucking one year. Small sample size. This nigga sound. This nigga is dumb. No, I'm talking. I'm talking basketball. This nigga's pulling up career numbers. I'm not doing that. What are we doing here? Let's pull these fucking stats up. Kill me to fucking pull up some fucking small one this year nigga, small sample size. Man, shut up, man. Shit don't fucking work on me. <laughs> this, this nigga said, I'm going to pull up this nigga's career. About? Where this nigga changed his whole jump shot so he could become a good enough shooter. Mars, you do got to be fair. He did change his whole form, though. All right, so let's see here. My man's getting exposed. He don't watch basketball. Motherfucker say he changed his whole form and shit. And what that mean? 
I mean, he, shit, he, he realized. He, what does that mean, Herm? And he became he a great cheater. Hey, what does that mean, Herm? Hey, Rick Mars, he realized on, his first form was broke, so he changed it to another form, and it got better. It got better. He made his adjustment. It got better. And, and, and Mars, when you look at look at the last four years prior to All right. Okay, year. hold on. Hold on. Okay, I got it right here. So the year that Nahari's talking about, because Lonzo Ball ain't played since 21-22 season, he played 35 fucking games, like I said, a small sample size, and he shot it pretty well. He shot above 40% from the field, from three-point range. But, but 35 that's games, that's though. a small sample size. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go the year before, bro. Small right, sample man. size. So he shot, he shot 40%. All right, man. Go the small year sample before. Size. Man, 35 30, games. 35 games. Hey, go Come the on. year before, goddamn. Yeah, 35 games, bro. Yeah, 35 games. All right, a year Not before. Impressed. That may impress y'all, but this shit don't impress me. What did he do the year before that, Miles? Oh, I just closed my screen. My bad. I can hold on. Give me. I, let, let me open it back up. I just closed my screen. Thirty-five games in the game. Hey, Migo, we praising stretches now, bro. We, <laughs> we praising stretches. <laughs> bro, not that, not that this many. Crazy. Games. This is crazy. This is fucking ridiculous. Wow. The year he before. Well, the year before, I agree to her because Mike. I, I mean, my, I ain't got a pull up. Oh, you don't. All right. If I'm not mistaken, I think his first couple of seasons he shot it very bad, like low 30s. I think his last two seasons, if I'm not mistaken, he shot like mid 30s. If I'm not like 35, 36. Bro, what he shoot? What he shoot? The what he shoot the year before with New Orleans, bro? I think like mid 30s, like 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 30. No, it wasn't. I just shot 30, I, you shot 37. I just said that. I, I just said mid thirty. If he shot thirty seven percent, that's good. I just said that. That's I really good. That. Yeah, I just said that. Mid thirties. Right. Hey, hey, Mingo. If you think um, mm -hmm. a, a, a motherfucker would listen, if y'all think Kawhi Leonard got fucking bad knees, what do you think Lonzo Ball got right now? For the record, what do you think, Mingo? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I asked that question. What you wait when you come back? You gonna play five? Yeah, he shot. He shot like he shot thirty-eight. He shot thirty-eight. He was thirty-eight, bro. If y'all think Kawhi Leonard got bad knees, then what y'all think Lonzo got right now? Because they said Lonzo Ball's knee was so bad he was damn near contemplating retirement. Uh, even worse knees. Yeah, even worse knees. I mean, I'm mean, I mean, talking about fucking. No, 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 you, you you changing you changing the whole. Hey, Migo, hey, Migo, you know we talking about shifty guards in the NBA? Who make you move side to side, north, south, east, west, and his fucking damaged fucking knees can 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 contain I that. Man, he wasn't nonsense. doing that, nigga. Stop this nonsense, man. He's a fraud. But, he, he's nigga, been a fraud. was he's never fraud. doing that with the Bulls, bro. He's he was a fraud. He was mainly a catch and shoot shooter who ran pick and from time to time. Fraud. He was Here. a he was an outlet passer who set up plays, bro. He wasn't an outlet passer. Tween, tween. Yes, he was a great outlet passer. He was throwing man. outlet passes to Zach Levine in transition. It was a, he was just a he was a role player. He was a secondary ball hunter type of player. Like what were we talking about, bro? He was never no crazy scoring guard, anything like that. Like he was just a really good catch and shoot, three point shooter, a solid playmaker, a solid pick and roll ball hunter, and he was a great defender. That's a really good player. All the years, all the years, he shot thirty percent. How many games did he play those years? Probably like low fifties. I mean. He ain't played like a full season. I mean, he's been injured his whole career. So the year, so in New Orleans, right? Oh, last year, like, his last year in New Orleans, he shot thirty-seven percent from three on four plus attempts, and then the next year he How was forty percent from three. How many, many games? Orleans, did he I don't play? know, but he played more than thirty-five. That's what I need to know. Well, what were you about the game? So you're right. That's an actual question. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, he actually 50, 50, 50, fifty plus for sure. Fifty plus. Uh. <laughs> hey Mingo, is that you, bro? You said John Starks yeah. is better than DeRozan. Yeah, I didn't say that. Yeah, you said that. But, uh, yeah, I don't agree with that. Yeah, but the reason why I say that, though, yeah, yeah. hold on. The reason why I say that is because. Uh, I think if John Starks would have had a chance to get his own team and actually do what DeRozan did, like have his uh -huh. own team with his own squad behind him, 
I think he would have did better than DeRozan. That's what I'm saying. I mean, no, nah, that's the same John Starks who missed right? who, who missed all those threes in the finals, and, and he had open hey, threes. He the reason why you give Demar Derozan, you give Demar Derozan those type of looks. You give Demar Derozan those type. You give Demar Derozan those kind of looks. He's he gonna make at least two. So of course he he don't stop. Nah, he's not better than no Demar Dark, bro. John Starks, bro. Migo, stop it, bro. This is crazy. Demar Derozan, he is trash. This is crazy. I, I say Demar Derozan is is is, is all that in another chips. No, no, yeah. I mean, listen, I yeah, I get it, bro. I'm not saying Demar Derozan is all that in a bag of chips, but John Starks. I mean, you you could have said somebody else. Here's my thing, though. How good could you really? But my, how good could could you really be? John Stark, I mean, say, uh, uh DeMar uh-huh. DeRozan, how good could you really be when you got a guy that named they, they, they and, named them uh, after uh, your, uh, your, that, your that year? He played 55 games, he played 55 but, games, but, 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 Migo, what about, John Stark's game? what about John Stark's game? What about John Stark's individual game? Made you say that though? I mean, like, like, I, I, I think, I think, if I think if John Starks were given the chance to be free, like how DeMar DeRozan was, I think he would have been uh-huh. a better player. Like, if you're, if you're a different yeah. team around yeah. John Stark, in his, so, in his skill no. level, I think no. he would have been a better player. That's just my opinion. That's crazy. I think John, he would have been a better John player. Starks. John at all, you, you named John Stark. I mean, I mean, DeMar DeRozan so good that they started calling uh, Toronto LeBronto. Listen, but listen, he's so good. Listen, the oh, worst, get out of here listen, with DeMar DeRozan. I don't, don't care. DeMar DeRozan. I don't care how short DeMar came up in, in big postseason moments. DeMar DeRozan's worst games is better than John Stark's probably best games, bro. It just is. That's because he was the second player. option. That's my, that's my whole point. He's a better player, man. This is Migo. That's because he, he was the second player. option. Migo, Migo. From one friend to another, man. You lose credibility, bro, when you say shit like that, bro. Come on, man. Man, I don't give a damn. I still think, no, uh, I know you don't give a damn. I know, listen, I know you don't give a damn. Is. But it is what it is. You, know, uh, you can't be all- as great as John. You can't be as good as y'all trying to claim DeMar DeRozan is, but yet another dude that got renamed your city, LeBron Tone. Nigga, you the you you the uh you the leader of that team, but they started calling what? your and team guess what? another nigga and guess name. What? And guess crazy. what? Oh. Look out of here with DeMar DeRozan. And guess what? All all that could be true, and he's still better than some fucking John Starks, bro. Are you on drugs? Not, not, not in my opinion. Not Are in my opinion. Not in my opinion. Not in my opinion. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Not, not in my opinion. Cause, cause my thing is, y'all saying all that as a second Wrong option. Thoughts, bro, um, really? As a second option, John Starks did what he did. Uh, Demar Derozan as the first option That's ain't really option. do shit either. He ain't really did shit either. As was a John first Stark, option, hold on, hold on. was John Starks really the second option? Yes, he was. Yeah, he no, was. He fucking was. wasn't, bro. The he Knicks was. had Patrick Ewing and a cast of role players, arguably. Bro, he was John Stark was the second, second option on the team. team. He was bro, the second best player on our team. He was the second best player yeah. on the on Knicks. Yeah. Stop it, John. That's, that's not. That's not. That's not what a second option means. But no, John Stark was the John second Stark option. Not clear cut. The second. The second option, option is your second wasn't. option on offense. He just wasn't to me, and that's what he was. I'm, I'm just yeah. saying though, like, I'm just saying, on second option. being the second best yeah. player. Y'all forget about fucking, um, fucking Derek Harper, fucking uh, Mark Jackson, fucking. Man, uh, Harper, 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 Harper. Usually, your second best player is your what second. Option. What's going on right what now, man? Talking about it? He was not no clear cut second option, man. Yes, he was. So, so he, was on, was on mass. he was the first option, right? He wasn't even that. No, he, of course not. I mean, that's Patrick Ewing. You know that. Oh, so who was the, who's the second option then? John Bro, honestly, bro, I don't know, but it wasn't him, though. It wasn't him. It wasn't <laughs> no, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You don't, know, you, you, don't, you don't know who the second option was, but John Stars wasn't the second option, so I asked you for the actual second option. You wouldn't even know who he is. Because the Knicks had one good player in Patrick Ewing, and they had a cast of just literally like just role players. So what are, what, are, what are the role players? Literally, I, what just are the, I just named him. Name, what, what, who I hear Charles I hear Oakley, names. Mark Jackson, Greg Anthony, Charles Smith, Anthony okay. Mason. Like, what the? I mean, okay, okay, okay. Like, so, 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 Charles which one of those, the when, 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 which one of those niggas was the second option then? If it wasn't John Starks, 
Bro, I saw Anthony Mason bring the ball to court consistently, initiating offense and scoring, bro. I saw Charles Oakey getting tons of pick and pops. I saw Derek Harper. Derek Harper was getting buckets, bro. It wasn't no fucking so who, so who was the second John option Stark. then, my nigga? This is crazy. If it wasn't John Starks, who was it? It changed game to game. I mean, it fluctuated, honestly. So, it fluctuated. Uh, so basically, they, they just had... They just had one number one option with a bunch of role players. Let me pull up the Knicks stats for those years and see what, what happened. No. Uh, this nigga don't even know what he's talking about, man. I'm still rolling with that. That shit crazy, though. The I mean, it's players. Listen, out of all players that Miguel could have mentioned, no, no, Alan Houston came well after. No, Alan Houston came later on a little bit. But out of all players that Mingo could have mentioned with DeMar DeRozan, who he's not better than, you mentioned John Starks. Well, I didn't mean, you could at least mention the Allen Houston, the Glenn Rice. This is fucking crazy, man. Man, he better than DeMar DeRozan than me. DeMar DeRozan ain't worth a shit. Nigga ain't win a championship. And then Toronto didn't win a championship until Kawhi went over there. If Kawhi wouldn't went over there, that would have won a championship. But, 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 see, but see, this is what I hate with y'all. This is what I hate y'all. He was the first option. He was the number one. You could have put, you could have put KD with Toronto, they would have won. You could have put LeBron no, with Toronto. No, you can't. That's a they no, you can. But I that hate one people say that. No, you can. No, you could not. That's a lie. No, 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 no. They're definitely. That shit do not work like that. No, it doesn't. That shit do not work like that. Yes, it do. No, it doesn't. Just because you said another player do it, don't mean another player can get in that same. So, so the bad that, that days, like wouldn't that have won with the Toronto Raptors? Nah, I, LeBron may have would, but KD and all them other guys, I don't know. I don't know about KD. Kevin then. Durant, you sure? I don't know about KD. Then. Before, they know. Ki- before they kill these injury, he was with that Raptors. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know about KD. I don't, I don't know. I mean, that OKC team, that OKC team. Was better than that Toronto team. And you didn't win with OKC. No, it was not, nigga. No, it was. That no, OKC was. team was better than um that OKC that team. Had, that, OKC, that OKC uh, team had offensive liabilities on the court. They oh, stop it. Man, that OKC team was a mop. Oh, Kyle Below for us at. Bro, y'all Robinson, the team went to a fight. Robertson was liability. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That Toronto OKC didn't have any liabilities. Toronto, Toronto didn't have any liabilities like that on their roster. That OKC team went to a final. Toronto never went to a final until KD, I mean, until Kawhi got there. Because they That's didn't even have a superstar on the roster. So don't, 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 don't do that, bro. Don't do that. They didn't have a superstar that on the roster. That OKC though, team was better than... uh. Was better no, than the was, Toronto yeah. Raptors. No, so so what center? And he couldn't even win with those guys. Hold on, hold on, man. He blew a three-one lead in 2016. Mr. Jester, what center did Oklahoma City have better than Marcus All? That don't matter. All that stuff yes, don't do. matter. Y'all try to go yes, play do. a uh, No, it doesn't. What I'm matters is what what did what did the teams do? What did the teams do when they existed? What, what did the teams do? OKC had more better, success. Is better than Danny Green? OKC had more success than the Toronto Raptors did. That's my okay. point. Well, OKC had superstars, not just one. They had superstars. Oh, now OKC had superstars. Man, get out of here with that, bro. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. They did. Now you're changing the argument. I don't want to hear that. Whatever. Boy, you a sad nigga. Y'all try to. Y'all try to. Y'all try to downplay Toronto to elevate Kawhi Leonard. That's what you mean? Know. That Toronto Raptors team wasn't. It? All I'm saying is that that Toronto. I ain't never said the Toronto Raptors team wasn't good. That ain't my argument. I said they wasn't better than OKC. Cause you named KD. If you were to put KD right there, they would have won. And I was like, well, KD had a team that was better than that Toronto Raptors team, and he couldn't win with that team. He blew a three-one lead and all that other stuff. So if he can win with that OKC team, who is better, what makes you think he'll win with that Toronto Raptors team? Well, 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 well Ming, Ming, it's, a, it's a bad say because the team that he lost to won 73 nine games. You know what I mean, he lost to an all-time great team. The teams that he'll be going through in the Eastern Conference would be the Milwaukee Bucks. Bro, the 76ers. that same That's, team, LeBron that beat Warriors, that team. Nigga. You do remember LeBron beat that team, right? Well, Katie ain't LeBron. You do remember LeBron beat that team, right? Katie ain't LeBron. And that's my point. That's why I said you don't got to be LeBron to win the championship with that Raptors team. 
Kawhi did it. I think. Kawhi and KD on the same level as players. The same exact level. It's no gap Kawhi between them. Uh, Especially in 2019. I guess, but all I'm saying is, it ain't many players that could have could have did what Kawhi did in 2019. Plus, okay, get past that okay, 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 man. Okay, man. Let's get hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Nah, Let's get past that seven and six team. Let's get past that seven to six team with Jimmy Butler and Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid on. Ben Simmons after the oh, Ben Simmons basically. Oh, come on, bro. Man, no hell, he wasn't. Stop it. I said Ben Simmons was still good then. Man, Ben Simmons was still good then, bro. Stop it. He was not good. He was the same player yes, that he is. Good. I'm going to ask you a basketball question, Mingo. So why did the Toronto Raptors gave, as a team, gave the um, Golden State Warriors problems? What made what made them so difficult for the Golden State Warriors? What do you mean? I answer the question. The question is simple. Why did the Toronto Raptors gave Golden State Warriors problems? In why, that did, why, did, why did the Toronto Raptors give Golden State a uh, problem? Uh, well, they beat them. They didn't give them problems. They beat them. And my but why thing, did they beat them? I mean, you you know what time it was. But KD got hurt. Clay, Clay played most of the season, series. But KD got hurt, though. KD ain't. Play number what, like 12 defensively, minutes defensively, what they do in that series, Toronto do. They they, they didn't do much. They, they actually they dominated them. They was killing them, man. Actually, they, they was killing uh Golden State for uh defensive wise. But at the same time, though, KD got hurt. They didn't have that fight, they didn't have that extra power fight. KD got hurt. When KD played when KD came back those 12 minutes, KD had scored 12 points in 12, uh, what it was, 12 points in 12 minutes. A 12 points in 11 minutes, something like that, whatever it was. It was some crazy um, stat line. And he and he got hurt again and he couldn't play no more. Mm. You, you, you don't remember that? When he came back, no, like, I, I remember minutes. that, but I, I, just, I was yeah. just trying to see if you could break it down. I'm going to tell you why they did. The length, sure. the, the length and the size that they had and the combination of what Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Fleet. Nah, they were just missing KD. That's all. No, it, it wasn't even it wasn't even just that. It just ended the day. What they did throughout the playoffs. Well, I'm gonna go even further. What they did throughout the playoffs was with their length. What was their defense his defense mentality? Yes, Kawhi Leonard picked up the load against Philly. But that was a defensive series. So end of the day, somebody had to do something. But Philly was Philly was still puppets and still was very young. Toronto had a lot of veterans. You had a Marcus All, a veteran. You had a Serge Ibaka, a veteran. You had a Danny Green, a former champion, a veteran. You had Kawhi Leonard. You had a lot of veterans on their team mixed with the young talent. Siakam was giving was giving you a lot of production. You had Fred, Fred Van Fleet as a young player giving a lot of production. Kyle Lowry was the leader of the team, was running that offense. Yes, he struggled from the field in some of those series, but he was very instrumental into what Toronto wanted to do. Then you had guys like Norman Powell coming off the bench. But they didn't even have to get to the OG and the Nobles. That's how deep they really no. were. Serge Ibaka. With that, with that roster. But Gasol was not slow in 2019. Gasol was actually the steal at the trade deadline when they traded them around the trade deadline. That was a good-ass pickup for the Raptors, and that elevated the Raptors. He was an upgrade for Valachunas. That's who Toronto had. People forget about that when they had Valachunas. And Mark Gasol was a complete upgrade for Valachunas provider. Because he was a better defender, his length, his size, his, his proudness physically was too much on teams throughout that playoff run. Why you think Joel Embiid didn't do shit in that series? Cause Marcus All was a problem for um, Joel Embiid. He would push Joel out of spots, and then by the time Joel do get past him, you got a Serge Ibaka waiting on him. You got a Pascal Siakam waiting on him. So defensively, mingle Justin. Yes, offensively they struggled, but defensively they were so elite. All Kawhi Leonard had to do was pick his spots and score. Well, I never again. I'm gonna reiterate. I never said the team wasn't good. That see, you 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 mistaken me trying to say that that Toronto Raptors team was trash and uh and uh Kawhi Leonard just took them to the promised land. That's not that's not what my point was. 
My point was that they wasn't better than that OKC team. Uh-huh. That was my point. They were. That That's was my point. Team, I never said that, uh, you that going off, but, but what you going off of? You going off of talent, right? What do you mean? What I'm going, the success. I'm going off the success of the team. No, no. I mean, one team won a championship, the other team didn't. Like, that doesn't like make that. any sense. Because The other team won a championship because they got Kawhi Leonard, which is my old no, boy. No, 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 because that team was elite. You down, you down playing his teammates then. No, I'm not. Bro, they add the team. Okay, the team is like y'all said the team was. They added Kawhi Leonard. That put them over the top. That's why no, they Marcus upgraded Sons from DeMar the DeRozan. No, no, no. They upgraded from DeMar DeRozan. That's what put yes, them over the top. And they added a, 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 a That's what the and, just saying. No, no, no. Nigga, you, nigga, you add KD. It's the same thing. No, no, they also added, they also added more. Oh, Lord. Man, y'all niggas act like y'all slow. Motherfucker, you don't listen. Shut up. Oh Lord! Nigga, they wow. added Marcus Saul and Serge Ibaka. Those were two steals. They didn't have those two originally. They was the oh, only ones with okay. the Paul DeRozan. You had that Kawhi Leonard was guys. the only reason. You and had that Kawhi Leonard was the guys. only reason. And that's bullshit. Oh. You a liar. Oh. No, no, Kawhi what you're, no, Mika, what you're doing? You're acting like Kawhi Leonard, which is so much of a great player that he elevated that Raptors team to new heights. No, he right? did elevate that team, but no, yes, yes, no, like no, no, he oh, come on, no, we're not acting like Kawhi Leonard no, no, did Mika, elevate Mika, that team. Mika, 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 we're not doing two, that. Two, two seconds. We're not seconds. doing that, bro. Thirty seconds, man. We're not doing that. We we're not gonna act like Kawhi Leonard did elevate that team. No, we know this. Even though they know he trades. All I'm saying is, they did. Kawhi Leonard had a huge impact on that team. But it was mainly because they upgraded from the Marta Rosa and he added other pieces as well to that team that they won the championship, bro. You don't think if they add Karen Durant, one of the greatest scorers, one of the greatest isolation no. scorers ever no. on that no. Raptors team. And meanwhile, no. meanwhile, in the finals, Kawhi didn't even play that great. He played solid. He was okay. But if you had one of the greatest offensive players ever, off-ball players no. ever, who still, especially at that time, no. was a good defender. You no. don't think they win a championship? No. Or at least no. make it back to How the finals? How many times they got to say it? How many times they got to say it? No. Why? Why no. wouldn't they make it back no. to the finals at least? No. They, they're not winning. No. Why? Why? They're not winning. Not, not, with, not with KD. It can't, it, can't be, it can't just be they're not winning. Why are they not winning? I mean, KD, KD is not the type of player that Kawhi is. Plus his KD, KD is and Kawhi. But his, offense, is not as good as but his offense, offense is, is better though. The offense gets way better. It slightly, but his defense is his defense is what actually Kawhi defense is what changed a lot of those series. Like that, uh, it was a scheme. It was it was no, a scheme of Nick mean? Nurse. It, yes, it he was got, no, no, it wasn't. It was he scheme. G- Jimmy Butler. It was a he scheme. Jimmy Butler. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. It was the that's defensive schemes, bro. That's a lie. With Kevin Durant, they can do the same schemes, bro. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Yes, it's it a can. reason. It's not going to be as effective, but it's still going to be. Not hard. Not hard. It's a reason. It's a reason why Kevin Durant only won with Golden State. It's a reason why what Kevin Durant only won championship with Golden State. What I mean by that is, Kevin Durant has to have Kev, Kevin Durant have to have the perfect situation in order to win. Nigga, that's not the perfect, perfect situation. Like, like, that's the perfect. perfect situation for Kevin Durant. That's not the perfect. Not for him. Is not the giving, him, giving him elite defenders and giving him also another leader and a playmaker no. next to him in Kyle Larry. No, no. One also, thing about also, one, give give him another guy who can score off the bench and Pascal Siakam not off the bench. Who can score next to him and Pascal Siakam? So you telling me we, 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 we already know Kevin Durant can fit in any system? He's one so you telling me Brooklyn he didn't have it? So you telling me Brooklyn he didn't have it? Brooklyn they were injured. They were injured, bro. Oh, okay. They were injured. Okay. Okay. Were they? Yes, they were. Okay. Okay. I said okay. And no, he didn't have that when he had just Kyrie in 2022. No. <laughs> All right. All right, then. Now he got it with the Suns again. He got another super team with the Suns. Just to lose again. What just got to do with him winning with the Raptors? Basically, what I'm saying is Kevin Durant without Golden State is bullshit, is what I'm saying. That got nothing that's to do a, with this that's conversation, that's man. That's that got right. nothing, nothing to do with this conversation, nigga. It got everything I, I to do I with it. Care, I don't care about what he did in Golden State, bro. I'm talking about if you put it. got everything right. to do with it. Outside of Golden State, do it and did nothing. You understand that this will be his best team outside of Golden State, right? Outside of Golden State, do haven't did anything. He haven't even made it to a conference finals outside of Golden State. 
not past the second round. What is that supposed to mean in different conferences? Dude, I'll, 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 I'll pray against KD. Uh, Dude, basically, it contradicts, your, it, it basically contradicts your uh, point you just made. When you say How? you can put Kevin Durant in any system, and he'll be good. Uh, you, and, you, and you can't put him in any Obviously system. Obviously not if you can't get out the second round. Well, he was great, though. What are you talking Obviously about? Obviously not if you can't get out the second what, round. What has what his team losing got to do with him fitting great in every he's system? He's on the team, ain't he? Is he not on the team? Yes, he's on the team. Yes. On the team. yes. Okay, he's then. a part of why they lost. He's not the sole reason. He's, 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 he's a part okay, of why they lost. But me, I mean, it's, 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 it's 15 players on the roster, man. It's not, it's not one player. I don't want to hear that. Like, in, like, in 2021, the nigga did everything he could do to win that Bro, series. I'm tired of hearing them excuses. Lost. Bro, don't keep giving me them same excuses. Bro, I don't want to hear that. I'm tired of giving me. I'm tired of giving me. I'm tired of, I'm tired of hearing them same excuses over and over again. Go Find something else. I'm tired of hearing that. That make, What you're saying makes no sense. Bro. I'm tired of hearing that. I'm going to say the same, say the same dumb argument. Kawhi Leonard only won all time else. great defense. Kawhi only you can put him in any system, system, but when you don't have success, it, it's the team fault and everything else. Both of them. Anybody you mean they don't have success? But yeah, you can put him in any system. Okay, that don't make sense to me, but whatever. Yeah, nigga, he can fit in any system. Okay, so why he ain't winning? That? If he can fit in any system, why he ain't winning? He's losing to teams that were better than their teams. Oh, okay, now he's losing a team that's better than his team. Okay. Yes. Okay, nigga, okay, nigga, the teams that he lost huh? to, right? Name the teams that Kevin Durant huh? lost to post Kevin Durant, right? Or even pre Kevin Durant. Now, tell me the teams. I don't know all the teams you um lost to. Obviously, you do so. Name. So in twenty twenty two, he lost to the Celtics. Were the Celtics a better team? Okay. I don't know. Was they? Come on, baby. At least be honest in this conversation. Were they a better team? I don't know. Was they? Yes, they were a the better team, bro. They were okay. the best defense in the league. They, had, they were better coached. They had two stars. They had, they had okay, better. wait a minute. So, so 2021, you lost to the Milwaukee Bucks. Was they a better team? Yes. Okay. Um, 20, 2003, I mean, 2023, who he lost to? Denver the Nuggets, the champions. champions. They were the best team. They were the better team. Yes. Even okay. champions in number one seed. Okay, well, again, that don't matter because teams beat teams all the time. Oh, they okay. Now, now that don't matter, even though he's losing the team. Yeah, yeah, because teams beat teams all the time. Everybody thought that 73 and 9 Warriors team was going to beat LeBron team, but he proved them wrong. Just like everybody thought uh, the Pistons were going to beat the Lakers in 2000. Uh, the Lakers were going to beat the Pistons in 2004. They proved them wrong. Uh, in 2011, everybody thought that Heat team was going to beat the Mavericks. They proved them wrong. Like you, it can be proven wrong. Just because you're yeah, better but, team, but you at, the end, at the end of the day, nobody expect nobody was expecting Kevin Durant to beat any of those teams, bro. Maybe in 2022, but that was only the delusional. Hey, y'all, got more excuses, y'all got more excuses for this dude in the script. I don't even like Kevin Durant, but you you bringing up all his past. Um, Man, what the hell now happened? Audio must have cut off. I don't know, but I'm still here. Well, I, I, I know, I know, and today, the main go down playing the Raptors roster. And I'm not down playing the Raptors. I know you, I'm not. You, were, that's what you, you, were, you, were, you rushed to what these LeBron James fans do. Bro, that's LeBron, not what I was doing. Chris no, Bosch wasn't nah, nothing. LeBron sexuals is worse. No, no, I'm just saying, no, Chris Bosch wasn't doing. nothing. He didn't score, but Chris Bosch played exceptional defense. D Wade wasn't the same, but D Wade was still the threat. Yeah, you doing the same thing with how you? Bro, you how no, you bro, down. you can't hear me say anything you about the Raptors. Oh, no, but you, but you act like the Raptors was was the same team when Kawhi got there, and they added pieces like the Marcus All. They when they traded for Kawhi, and they added a Danny Green to get a Danny Green, which is a veteran, mm-hmm. which hit big shots in playoff moments. Got a Serge Jabaka with a lot of playoff experience. Added with the young talent of the Seahawks, the Van Fleet, the Norman Powell's. And shit, an OG if you wanted to play him at the time. So they was very deep. And Kyle Lowry was an all star. So they was very deep. That was a nine. Mm-hmm. That was a nine man. That was a nine man rotation that was deep. That Raptors team is underappreciated, undervalued, but they undervalue them to try to make it seem like Kawhi Leonard is so is so great 
they tried to elevate Kawhi Leonard to status is that he's not because if he was so great, why well, he hasn't done it with the Clippers? And the Clippers had a lot of talent as well. They was up 3 1. Just saying. That's not that that's not my argument. You're trying to make my argument out to be something that is not. That's not my argument. My argument wasn't that the, the that the Toronto Raptors was a good team or not. That wasn't my my argument was that the OKC Thunder was a better team than the, the Toronto Raptors. That was my argument. I mentioned nothing about the Toronto Raptors or roster. Y'all trying to turn them into that. No, that but, wasn't but, my and, argument. But actually, that Raptors team, when you evaluate the roster, how it was constructed, and what you need on a basketball team, that roster was better than the Oklahoma City roster. That, that, no, it that, wasn't. No, that OKC was, Thunder team was better than that. Okay, than explain, that Raptors explain, team. explain to me why. What made that Oklahoma City roster so? No, I just told you that they, they team success. They made it to the finals. They but uh, that, you see, you can't do that because that Raptors team with that group was only together for one year. And what they do in one year, win the title. So obviously that Raptors roster was better. But uh, outside no, of team, no, but because. outside of team success, Mingo, for his basketball aspects, for his team aspect, what make OKC better than that 2019 Raptors team? I, you got to break it down other than you a team success. I just told you, bro. That, that Raptors they, team was they, only they together for move. one year. So you can't use that. They did move. move. How you can use that talking point, and that team was only together one year, and the Raptors did something in one year that OKC, Oklahoma City couldn't do, and how many years you want to add with it. So, end of the day, outside of that team's success bullshit you're trying to use, what makes that Ooh, Oklahoma bro. City team better than that 2019 Raptors? You're how were they better? Like that wasn't the no, argument. No, I'm not switching the argument. How were they better that than that Raptors that wasn't roster? The argument. That wasn't the argument. Because basically, no, the, arg the, the the conversation was really about DeMar DeRozan, not Kawhi Leonard. You try to switch. Ka DeMar DeRozan wasn't on that 2019 Raptors team. You're trying to switch the argument. That Marcus wasn't the Saul argument. Marcus wasn't on that. Marcus Saul wasn't on. Marcus Saul wasn't on the team. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Danny, Green, Danny Green wasn't on the team with DeMar DeRozan. And Serge DeMar DeRozan wasn't, wasn't, wasn't on that team, bro. God damn, boy. You, that that you was the said. argument. You can't, you can't break you, it down. You, 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 you really switching can. the argument, bro. You that wasn't even, the argument. Let's, let's break down the Oklahoma City roster. What made that roster so great, which I don't think that was an all-time great roster. So break down Oklahoma City roster and actually break it down to tell me how that's a great roster. They had a lot of holes in that roster, but can you break no, it down didn't. to me? Bro, bro, they had Kevin Durant. They had they had Kevin Durant. I mean, that team was so good. They what's had James Harden no, coming off the bench. What's your basis of a good roster, though? What they had Kevin Durant coming off the bench with Serge Ibaka. Then you had Serge Ibaka uh -huh. and uh, Tabo Cephalosha, Andre He's Roberson. He's a liability. Bro, you, you that, that team that team was good as hell, bro. They were young. No, they, they were scrappy. Man. They, they'll get out there on defense, and you know what? And you know what? Uh, Westbrook and Kevin Durant will bring on the offensive end. Plus, you got you got uh, James Harden coming off the bench. He was the sixth man of the year, and bro, that team was good, bro. So that team, that, that team, you're talking, you talking, you talking about the 2011 Oklahoma City Thunder? No, any, any, any Oklahoma City, any, any, James any time left after 2011. So I'm trying to see what you're talking about. Because basically, what I'm saying is that team made it to like. Three or four Western Conference Finals, maybe I don't know three, four, five Western Conference Finals. They made it to one Finals. That team was really good, man. I'm telling you. So are you trying to go off of star power, or are you going off of overall roster built? Overall roster, the team was good, bro. That's what I'm saying. If overall roster, the, the team was good. You're going on the overall roster. Sabalosha not better than Norman Powell. Sabalosha not better, not better, not better, not better than uh OJ and Anobi. Sabalosha not better than uh Danny Green. Sabalosha, yeah. of course, not and, Sab and those three right there alone, that take them out. When it comes to Serge Ibaka, he was on the Raptors 2019 team, so I can't use Serge Ibaka. When it comes right. to Nick Collison, Nick Collison don't have the type of defensive impact. It's Marcus did in 2019. Um, when, when it comes to point guard abilities, 
Um, goddamn, Kyle Lowry is better than Derek Fisher was at that time. Um, Marcus Hall was better than Kendrick Perkins at that time. Fred Van Fleet was better than Reggie Jackson. Um, then, then when you break it down, Pascal Siakam, better than a Jeff Green, better, better than uh, what's the better than an Andre Robeson. So when you break it down, let me know how that roster is clearly better than that 2019 Raptors team. Other than star power, and that's what you're really basing it on, you just don't want to admit that you're basing it on star power. They're trying to switch the argument and turn it into something that it wasn't. Y'all try to switch the argument and turn it into something that it wasn't. Try to switch the argument and turn it into something that it wasn't. Which is some bullshit. I mean, me personally, I was actually trying to see both sides, but you know. You actually just yeah, downplayed the Raptors. No, I am not downplaying the Raptors. I, I done said on multiple occasions that Raptors team was really good. I done said it multiple times. I ain't trying to downplay the Raptors. The Raptors team was good, but what I'm saying is, and, and, and the whole argument was about Kevin Durant. How you say you could put Kevin Durant on that team. And I was like, Kevin Durant had a similar team to that Toronto Raptors team, and he couldn't win with that team. That was my point. You trying to compare the team. I'm not doing all that. No, all Kevin I was Durant. saying was Kevin Durant. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Kevin, Kevin Durant Raptors never team. Kevin Durant never in his career outside of Golden State had a top to bottom well put together roster. If he would have went to that Toronto Raptors team, that would have been one of the best well put together rosters that he ever been a part of. OKC was mean? top. OKC was top heavy. They oh, had wait, wait. Power, so you telling me roll. that? No, so, hold so on, hold on. You, I wasn't wait. done, man. No, wait, wait. I, I, I wasn't finished. You cut me off. You cut. You cut me off. They wasn't. He did role players like Kendra Perkins. They were mediocre. Derek Fisher bro, was bro. mediocre. So you telling me a team that's mediocre? Sabalosha, Sabalosha make it four on five. Andre Robinson bro, make it four on five. So Kevin bro, Durant, if he was with Toronto, that make it the if he was with West Toronto, West if he was with Toronto, the floor would have been spread it out. You would have had guys so that could do me a everything. Team that's mediocre that made it the four or five Western Conference Finals in the final. That team was mediocre. <sighs> you don't listen, man. Make Just that make going, sense. Man. Just keep going, man. Make make that make sense. A team mediocre made it the four or five Western Conference Finals in a final. That team was mediocre. Okay, I, I'm just maybe I don't I don't know about yeah. Okay, that don't make no type of sense at all. That don't make no type of sense. Mingo, did did you ever think that the Houston Rockets were Giants hard? You think those teams should have ever made the Red Conference Finals and made the times that they did? No, and they didn't. I think they that, did. I think I think the only time I think the uh, the Houston Rockets were formidable is when they added Chris Paul. That's when I think they were swimming. That made them legit. But unfortunately, Chris Paul got injured. So there's that. And shout out to my shout out to my brother Jay's play by play. And and the reason why I'm reason why I'm kind of um being tough on you right now, because we seen star power doesn't equate to good a good basketball team. We not seen in the last few years. Look at Kevin Durant's tender with Brooklyn. You had star power, but you didn't have the adequate role players to support the star power players you had. Look at the Clippers. They got the star power, four future Hall of Famers, but they don't have the adequate role players to supplement their needs that the Clippers obviously need, which is size, which is the true point guard. So, at the end of the day, because I got star power doesn't mean that my actual basketball team is actually a good team. Sometimes you can get by with talent before it's winning the title. You won't win because you lacking adequate pieces. Like I said, Oklahoma City, a lot of times, especially 
when they had Kendra Perkins and Derek Fisher and those boys at the time. Because they had two two players at a time on the court that was offensive liabilities. But Oklahoma City got lucky because they had talented guys like Kevin Durant and Russ that was relentless and didn't stop attacking. But when they struggled, it's because it was two guys on the court with them that was that was the reliability on offense with the Andre Robinson, Kendra Perkins. Darren Fisher was a lot so much of a lot bit on defense, you really couldn't even play him. So end of the day, that roster wasn't constructed the right way because they would have had some three and D guys that can spread the floor that could be respectable on the court. And you was trying to play Kendra Perkins because of his size. But hell, he's so much of a lot bit offensively. Now I could Sorry, double team you. Kevin Durant. I could double team Kevin Durant and double team Russ at will because there's two guys on the court with them that's not gonna give you nothing offensively. So let so me get this straight. I'm saying, that Raptors okay, team, so let me get this straight. Hold on, I, 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 I was trying to get there with you. I, I'm still not done. When I get to this last point, you will completely understand with the Raptors. Mm. But nobody I'm could nope nobody could double team Kawhi Leonard because they had five guys, they had four guys on the court at all times that was respectable offensively. So the floor was spread it out for Kawhi Leonard to operate. He had a lot of one-on-one opportunities. They didn't double team Kawhi Leonard in Toronto because you couldn't. If you did, Danny Green gonna make you play. If you did, Fran Van Fleet gonna make you play. If you did, Siakam gonna make you pay. If you did, Marshall Saul will make you pay. If you did, Abaka would hit a mid-range like he did plenty of times in the playoffs. Uh, Kyle Lowry would make you play, pay. Norman Powell would make you pay. So you couldn't double team Kawhi Leonard, but you could get to your point now. So, so let me so let me get this straight. So that, uh, like you just eloquently uh, laid out. So that Oklahoma team city team wasn't good, wasn't well constructed, but it was good enough to have a seventy three and nine team up three one. They wasn't good enough now, according to that whole soliloquy you just went on. They wasn't good enough now, but it was good enough to have a seventy three and nine team up three one. And then choke it all away in 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 the in the, in the last three three games of that series. I, I, yeah, three games. Last three games, game, four, five, and six. Last three games of that series, they they choked it all away. But yet that team wasn't well uh, was, uh well uh constructed or well put together. But they had seventy three and nine team up three one. Make that make sense? Because I had a team of three one go obviously obviously they had they was given they was given the only reason they had them down like that man was because they had the length and they had the size to make it difficult on Golden State. But what tended to happen was when Steve Kerr made the adjustment with the Andre Eagle Dollars or the world start playing a little bit smaller with their lineups, that's when they really start implementing the small ball lineup. Once they once they did that mingle like i said the liabilities that okc had with two guys on the court with kd and russ that's liabilities offensively they was able to double team kevin durant they was able to do certain things defensively to to, to, to force russ and kevin durant into bad shots so that's why those guys struggles in those fourth quarters and the late game situations against the uh go to state warriors it wasn't because they wasn't good enough it was because their teammates wasn't good enough. It, it, that was the main reason why OKC lost and blew that 3-1 lead because Golden State of Steve Curry done made those adjustments. So what you tend to forget is the role players for Oklahoma City wasn't good enough, so they was able to key in on Russell Kevin Durant and change up their defensive schemes to make it difficult for those two, in which they did. So therefore, that's why they was able to walk them down the way they did. So you got to realize – there was a st- there was more of a star power team rather than a good overall team like the Raptors were. The Raptors had everything you needed on a basketball team to be successful. They had the inside presence. They had the perimeter defense. They had the interior defense. They had the physicality. They had the athleticism. They had the shooting. They had the passing. They had guys with good high- IQ on both the offense and defensive side of the ball. They had a good coach. So they had everything that you need on the basketball team. Oklahoma City didn't. That's the difference, bro.
You made it easy for me, Mingo, man. Mm. So, basically what you're saying is the role players were good enough to get them up in one, but weren't good enough to finish the job. That's what you're saying? No, Kevin Durant and Russ were so hot and so unstoppable that talent over preceded what Golden State was doing, but the adjustment Steve Kerr ended up making later on in that series being down 3-1, you had to be desperate in which Steve Kerr was, and it ended up working, off, working out for him. They gambled. They start throwing. They start throwing different type of looks at Kevin Durant and Russ, forcing them into more difficult shots. And those role players, like a Kendra Perkins, wasn't reliable. Like a Sabalo, where it really was Andre Robeson at the time, wasn't reliable. Reggie Jackson was too young at the time, but he was one dimensional, so you could expose him if you did play him. Those role players couldn't really shoot. They really did space the floor out well for Kevin Durant and Russ. That was their whole problem. That's how they got walked down because the floor was the space. And those same difficult shots that Kevin Durant and Russ was hitting wasn't falling anymore. Those guys were making a lot of contested difficult shots those first four games. That shit stopped falling. So that's all it was, bro. If you if Kevin Durant was with the Raptors, he wouldn't have had that issue because the floor would have been typically spread at all times with the type of talent, with, with the type of roster construction that Toronto ended up building. You would have had, like I said, you would have had guys that could score inside, out. You had guys defensively that was good defenders on the interior and the, um, and the perimeter. And you had guys that could do everything on the court. So he didn't have that in OKC. That's what you got to realize. So, yes, did they have the star power? Hell yeah. But outside of that, so they had so let, this, so let me ask you this, Hern. So going back to that 2019 rap team, you don't think Kawhi Leonard defense or probably was helped, helped also help out that uh <clears throat> helped out their perimeter defense as well. So they didn't put as much pressure yeah, on but it's, but, but, but it's hold on, hold on, wait a minute. I ain't finished. I ain't finished. You didn't think his perimeter defense, how he could play defense on the perimeter. Helped out Serge Ibaka and uh, Mark Gasol to the extent where they didn't have to really do as much on the defense, expend, expend much energy on the defense, man. They could give a little something on the offensive end, being that the type of defensive uh, player that he was. Mango, but something that Kevin Durant can't give you? Nah, but Kawhi. But, but Kawhi Leonard, like when, when you surround uh, Kevin Durant with a lot of great defensive guys like you did at uh, Golden State, Kevin Durant was playing some of the best defense he ever played in his career. He was actually great defensively for the Warriors because he was surrounded by a great defensive system, a great defensive team, and with a lot of guys that could defend. You put him in the same situation in Toronto. Now only you got a former defensive player of the year that, that's in the back, like Mark Gasol. You got other guys that could defend perimeter-wise. Kyle Lowry was a solid um, perimeter defender. He had Siakam that could defend the perimeter as well. Danny Green was a good perimeter defender at the time. You had, you had guys like Norman Powell that was a good defender with the Toronto Raptors. OJ Ananobi was a good defender. Then you had guys like Serge Ibaka that's good on pick and roll defense. Marcus Gasol at the time still was good on pick and roll defense and also drop coverage. So you had a lot of those aspects that he didn't have at OKC. So like I said again, for his team aspect, the Raptors was a better well put together a team than the Oklahoma City Thunder because the Oklahoma City Thunder relied heavily on Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant to create everything. And it ultimately backfired with Golden State was in desperation mode and realized, hey, this all we got to do. They don't have nobody else. That's a threat. And that was the key to that turnaround in that series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about all that. Cause I still think I still think that OKC team was better, in my opinion. And now, and I was talking about all the years leading up to 2019, not 2019 itself, cause they had Kawhi Leonard in 2019. I was talking about the years leading up to 2019. Yeah, but they also added guys like Marcus Saul. Serge Ibaka was added late in 2018, but he wasn't with them that whole year before. Then you added a guy like a Danny Green that was viable. Then you drafted well. When you drafted Fred Van Fleet, that was a great pickup that they got by drafting him. And, and, and you still had, like I said, you still had other guys. You still had your all-star, Kyle Lowry. 
Then you had a bench player, Norman Powell. That was that was a good good young player that they end up ultimately getting in the draft as well. And you still had OJ and Anobi, another guy that was well that was well put together. So they had a great, well put together team. They was Kawhi bound, Leonard just took over. Was bound. Kawhi Leonard just took over. Kawhi Leonard just took over, man. That's all it was. I mean, let's just go ahead and say what it was. Kawhi Leonard just took over, bro. He he literally just took over. Cause I mean, I think that 76ers team, even even if you okay, say if they added those same pieces, them pieces that you keep talking about, those pieces that you keep keep bringing up, put Mark Gasol, um, uh, okay, Mark Gasol, uh, Serge Ibaka and Danny Green, and then they drafted Fred Van Vliet. Say if they say if they put that those same players, they added those same players with the Mark DeRozan on the uh, court, still on the court. You think they win a championship still? Can you break that down again, kid? I said, I said, okay, you keep on talking about the pieces that they added. They added Mark Gasol, Serge Ibaka, Danny Green, and then they, they dropped that Fred Van Vliet. So my question to you is, if they add, they add all those same pieces, have all those same players, do they still have the same success with still Mar DeMar DeRozan on the court? Um, DeMar DeRozan, no, because at the end of the day, that still would have been a basketball team with no superstar, with no franchise caliber type of player. You got to remember, Kawhi Leonard is a franchise type caliber player. So y'all keep trying to act like DeRozan is a superstar, which he never was. So to me, that's a bad talking point where guys say, well, if DeMar DeRozan was still on the scene, he never been considered a superstar or considered a top 10 caliber type of player in the NBA. So that's actually a bad talker point, and it really don't make sense because he's not considered a superstar, in which you consider Kawhi Leonard. But y'all keep on talking about how good the team was around him. So if the team was that good around him, the Mar the Rose should be able to win with him too. If that team was that good around him, like I was saying. No, because all the Raptors were missing was a superstar caliber player. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So basically what you're saying, Kawhi Leonard did make a difference. Say that again, Mingo. So basically you said Kawhi Leonard did make a When you evaluate how good that team truly was. Yeah, I'm I'm back though. I had I'm dealing with I was dealing with some. But uh but So end of the day, guys wanna roll with certain narratives because they wanna act like Kawhi Leonard is just so great, which he is a great player, but he's not on that level of a Kevin Durant all time. Not on that level as a LeBron James all time. Not on the level of other great small fours like the Julius Irvers, Larry Birds, El Jabalas. He's not in that elk. He just was he just was at the right place at the right time. The Spurs. Him when he got traded to the Spurs for the Raptors, that was just a great fit at the right time. You went to a conference which was weak. LeBron James left that same conference the, the next year. 
um, the Eastern Conference was so weak, it made the Raptors on the the best team with LeBron left. So I think with DeMar DeRosa, they would have went to the finals, but they wasn't going to beat Golden State. So that's just how it is to me. A lot of guys really don't want to face the fact. Guys could get mad. And, and, and get mad because they love Kawhi Leonard. Guys can get mad because I, don't, I ain't rolling with their talking points when it comes to Kawhi Leonard. And this shit crazy. Yeah, this shit wild, man. Y'all, y'all be, y'all be one niggas to kiss ass and all that shit. Nah, bro, we ain't gotta do all that, my nigga. Y'all stop this shit, man. Y'all stop this shit. But salute to all the Kawhi, to the uh, KDRs out there. You know what I'm saying? The Kawhi Dick Riders. Uh, shout out to the PDR, the PGDRs, the Paul George Dick Riders. You know, shout out to all, and shout out to the uh, CDRs, or better yet, SDRs, Stripper Dick Riders. You know, shout out to them. You know, uh, they are very delusional. They said, but y'all hit the like button, man. Y'all subscribe. I'm out, y'all.